Okay, I think I can just go ahead and start the game up. Just to kind of retrace my steps a little bit. So, I bought a key. I have to figure out where the key goes to. And I kind of have an idea. And I just like, whoops. Okay. Kind of know where the key might go to. But I'm not entirely sure because I don't know if that's actually the place I'm thinking of or not. So, let's see. Uh, okay. <laughs> I gotta remind myself of the controls. Uh, oh yeah, should I change these? I didn't use this one all that much. Let me let me actually go back to the bench. I, I think I'm gonna change it because I honestly just forget I even have it in the first place. I could see this being like pretty useful. Just like going like this and then that. But I'm gonna forget to do it and unless I practice consistently, I don't think I'm gonna get it down. Anyways. Okay, so I draw more souls. It gives me more gold. Uh gosh. <laughs> Headphones are a little too loud. Uh, spore shroom composed of living cold matter. Uh, okay, so not too great. That's kind of useful. It's kind of more useful than the dash one. The sands charm. <laughs> so I still can't unsee that. That still straight up looks like sands putting his hands in his jacket. Like even the color blue and everything. Um. Since I'm going to a new area, I probably shouldn't risk having the greed one on. So let's go ahead and take this off. And let's equip this. I think that that's okay. Okay, let's save. Alright. And pull up the map. So there's that room there. I think that uses a key. Hey noodle. Oh, geez. <laughs> oh, man. oh, gosh. I feel kind of bad for laughing opening it openly at that. But not because it's like, oh, man, I should feel... Not because I should feel bad about it. So much as it is like, oh, what do you expect kind of thing. And, like, I don't mind saying it, too. I'll, I'll say it for anybody who, like, watches this on YouTube, doesn't know the chat. Uh, so Noodle was in a stream for uh, PBG. And if you don't know who PBG is, they're that's short for Peanut Butter Gamer. So I, I guess apparently somebody was in the chat and got upset because PBG did not read their message out of a chat for an audience of 900 people. And so if <laughs> I, don't, I don't mean like I know it's like I. I get you want to be noticed, but like out of 900 people, you have to kind of understand that like that's going to be very difficult as a streamer to notice that. But it's like, I've mentioned that too on streams before, but that's actually something that I think about that if one day I were to grow and become a bigger streamer, how would I handle that? And so, honestly speaking, there's really not much you can do in terms of like talking to everybody. Like, realistically, it's just not going to be the case. Like. Oh, that many people. Otherwise, you might as well just have like a just chatting, um, just chatting like category. And even then, like out of 900 people, you're not going to be able to talk to everybody. Um, I can't go this way. So, uh, and if you are playing a game, much less are you going to be able to like talk to everybody while you're playing a game. Even for me, talking to everybody too, sometimes I get distracted in the game. I'm like, whoops, and I'll you know do stuff, but. It's still doable with a small enough audience, but yeah, with 900 people that are all talking at the same time, there's no way. So I don't know why that would come as a surprise to anybody like, oh, you didn't read my message in a 900 person thing. Um, it should just be kind of a given, but yeah. Let me, let me go back and read chat a little bit. Uh, okay. One set person, according to mods, had just posted their first chat as the complaint, meaning they, <laughs> they're full of, oh, okay, they're full of crap, full of shit. So they literally said, aren't I entitled to your intention? Jeez. Yeah, that definitely sounds like a troll message. I'll agree with you on that. Absolutely. 
Oops. Accidentally minimized OBS. That, that definitely does come off as a as a troll message, but the thing is, like, too, it's not even that far fetched to like think of somebody actually doing that, though. Because I get like I get you want to interact with somebody you're you're really into. Don't get me wrong, that's totally understandable, and it makes sense because you really like the person and you want to talk to them and you want to hear them, you know, their feedback on certain things and opinions and stuff. It makes sense, but. You got to know, too, that it may not work out that way. It's actually very likely it won't work out that way. You just got to kind of come to a decision like, you know, am I watching them to talk to them or be able to, like, enjoy the content or wh what is it that you know, I'm really, you know, enjoying from this? And then kind of understand, like, there's going to be some days where you do get to talk and some days where you don't, like, for, for big streamers. And even then, like, everybody's having that thought. It's, it's just not... It's just not, uh, whoops, I'm supposed to go up. It's just not going to be possible with, with that many people. It's it's way too much. And, like, I'm sure, I don't I don't know, I've never actually watched, like, PVG streams. I haven't really watched much of PVG in general. I do know of him, though, but I haven't really watched um, much of the content. But from what I have heard, it's pretty good. And whoops. Oh, I can just attack them from above. Oh, never mind. He blocks it at some point. But yeah, like, from what I have heard, it's pretty good. So. Yeah, it's, it's bound to be something that's going to attract an audience for sure. And just going to be kind of given that, yeah, they're going to be pretty busy. Pretty busy with a lot of stuff. Uh, oh, he's doing a Mario Chaos stream? What's that? Is that like a uh, Mario Mario Maker? Oh jeez, that's not what I thought that was. <laughs> Whoops. Chaos mod? Is it? I'm actually not too familiar with what that is. I apologize. Is that like a a mod for Mario 64 or like the original Mario? She's really adding up really quick. Oh gosh, he laid two more. <laughs> Jeez, I didn't get a chance to heal at all the whole time. So Mario 64 emulator, both the mod that makes super random things happen, like changing gravity, music, randomly killing Mario, <laughs> camera changes, etc. That sounds beautiful. That honestly speaking sounds really, really, really fun. Oh my gosh. I would I would absolutely love doing that. Absolutely. I love chaos in games whenever stuff happens. I love video game glitches. And like funny enough, when you guys have seen me like have glitches, I'm not necessarily trying to do that. That just happens, but I get a huge kick out of it. He's been trying to finish the game with the mod. Oh my gosh. And like you mentioned randomly getting killed too and then gravity changing and I'm like what's the difference? That game barely functions as it is. Not really, but uh okay, I can't open that door. Um whew, okay. I can't open that door. That was the only door I could think of going into. Um Okay, well it's not it's not too bad. There's the fog canyon. I just need to remember how to get there. Fog Canyon, Fog Canyon, where are you at? Uh, oh. Okay, I can probably go to the stag. Maybe go over here. I feel like that's the area I should go to, is over here in the green path. I haven't been there in a while. I've been going through the Forgotten Crossroads for quite some time. I haven't seen anything that I can do, so let's let's try that. Okay, which way was it again? Um, up and left. Yeah, I think that's better out because I just came from there. But yeah, I I absolutely wouldn't mind trying that at all because it absolutely does sound like a blast, especially too with those kind of mods. Like, <laughs> at that point, if something dumb happens. 
is like no surprise because it's intentionally supposed to be something crazy. So like, if something does ha dumb happens, you're just like, wow, that's so unfair. It's like, well, yeah, it's uh, supposed to be unfair. It's unexpected. <laughs> it sounds that sounds really, really beautiful, honestly speaking. Like, I'm actually now considering it, because I'm pretty sure I'm going to be done with Paper Mario next stream. I'm actually legit considering it. I'm like, gosh, do I want to play another Mario game, but just make it really chaotic? <laughs> what do I want to be? So, uh, that's, that's so funny. It's like that, and, like, once I'm actually really considering at one point in the future... Oh, it's this dude. Yeah, Sam. Yeah pale thing you use these old lines pathetic a real warrior carries himself to combat he has no need for such convenience oh, i should have done the should have done the squidward thing just the mod causing it into the death <laughs> uh, oh at one point i was watching mario get was getting killed immediately and repeatedly over the course of like 30 seconds <laughs> And Peep just kept saying thank you after each death. <laughs> that's so bad. Oh man, that's so bad, but that's so funny. I can just imagine doing the really tedious missions too. Like if you're going for 120 stars. The one that's been the hardest for me to get, like when I played it, has been like, or I guess the most recent time I played it, because I've only 100%ed it like twice is the the one where you have to get 100 coins on the small big land i hate that one i absolutely hate that one that one's like complete bs like it's so bad because like the dumb part is like there's not really a lot of coins so you don't really have a lot of wiggle room on where to go and so the problem with it at that point is that whoops the problem with it at that point is that like there's a part where you have to get the red coins and the red coins are in an area that are very, very, very easy to die in. Like, really easy, because the camera also isn't very, you know, accommodating to that particular spot. So, <laughs> like, that one took me like an hour to do out of all the 100 coin ones. And I absolutely hate it. Ooh, he can hit me up there. We're doing this dance. Get down. Get down. Oh, jeez. <laughs> okay. <laughs> just gonna kill him like that. Oh, man. But yeah, that's super funny that the mod just causes instant death, so he just has to kind of live with it. Yeah, because he can't do anything. Like, it's part of the mod. What are you gonna do? Just, like, like dodge it or something? Oops. Jeez. Oh, I still took hit from that? Oh, man. I thought that was supposed to uh, block it. That sound is so weird and like the echoey effect. It sounded like somebody in the room over just like <laughs> getting up from their bed really quick. Like, <laughs> um, no dodging because Mario just immediately falls over and dies. Yeah, that's exactly how I pictured it. It's just straight up Mario just like plopping over. Like you can't do anything about it. Yep, it just it just happens. Or it just has like, I don't know, like an aneurysm or something. <laughs> like, something out of your control and just completely unexpected will just take him out just like that. It just his time. But yeah, I, uh, I can only imagine that being incredibly chaotic. Okay. 
But, uh, oh yeah, I, I don't think I said it, but yeah, it's like that mod and like the Pokemon randomizer one are ones that I'm actually like really considering doing one day. With like just having random Pokemon spawn, that would be super fun. And especially too, because I'm not like like too much in the know of Pokemon. If something were to spawn, I don't even think I could necessarily save it because I'm like, I really, uh, oh yeah, I don't have a map for this area. This might be where I need to be at. I couldn't be like, oh, I'll just wing it and uh, do my best because I'm like, I'm not that great at Pokemon. <laughs> so I don't know if I'm, I would be good enough to do that, but I could try it. Oops, oh geez. Like, I have friends who are in the, like, more competitive aspect of Pokemon, and they tell me stuff. And I'm like, I don't, I don't understand. Oh, gosh, dang it. <laughs> no, 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 no. Okay, cool. <laughs> uh, they just tell me stuff, and I'm like, wow, I had no idea of that. But it sounds really interesting. So, I just don't know if I would be able to, like, really do it with, like, without a lot of investment into it. I don't know what area this is. Wait, it has a map, but... Okay, okay, I've been here. Emerald randomizer, perhaps? That wouldn't be a bad idea. Because that's, like, still within the scope of Pokemon that I'm somewhat familiar with. Rain down on me. That wouldn't be bad at all. Okay. Uh, this is... Oops, that's not what I meant to do. Is that it? There's... Oh, okay, I can go up here. Maybe this is a new place. It sounds like it's getting louder. I hear a caterpillar. Oh, I see him down there. Oh, man. Okay, I can go around. Cool. Well, so I've never actually played Emerald, and I don't know if it has much difference between, like, Emerald and, uh, Ruby and Sapphire. I don't know how much is different. Oops. Uh... No, no, I don't want to go this way. I think that's actually the way I fell down in the first place. Right? What a creepy area. This is a lot different. I think Emerald is the best version of IMO. Oh, okay. Um, I actually didn't know there was a difference or even much of a difference at all. So that's good to know. Uh, the Howling Cliffs. Okay, I'm in an entirely different area. Maybe this is where I am supposed to go. I don't know. Let's see if I get brutally murdered within the first five minutes and that may give me an idea. I feel like I'm outside of the city. The town. What's this? King's Idol. Oof, I'm getting pushed back by the by the wind. Can I dash through? Okay, no, I cannot. Okay, that's fine. I found something important though. Let's see. Uh what does it say? I have four of these. Or four slots, so I have three of them. Uh white idol depicting the king of Hollow Nest. The excuse me, the elusive king was worshipped through these idols. Relic from Hollow Nest past or Hollow Nest past. Uh okay. So those dedicated to history of the kingdom. Let's see what's up here. Kind of neat little area. I like how it's kind of like silent. It definitely builds up the... Gosh, that money went, just went everywhere. <laughs> not even going to bother with it. I like how it builds up like the ambience to it. Oh, 
Talk about all that money that just fell and I didn't get. Uh, okay, I don't see anything over there. Gosh, it's like I'm playing Ultimate Chicken Horse. <laughs> Let's put Hollow Knight in uh, Ultimate Chicken Horse. Oh, dang it, dang it. Okay. <laughs> I thought I was going to fall all the way down. He's an insect, so maybe he's maybe he's not bad of that bad of a fit. <laughs> Since all the characters are like animal based. What's well, just uh one insect, right? Gosh, this actually goes up really high. I hope I don't take fall damage. This feels very much so like a getting over it with Benny, uh, what is it? Benny, F what is it, fondant? <laughs> no, fondant's the cake thing. <laughs> it feels so bad, I'm not trying to butcher the name. I, I just legitimately cannot remember it. I'm sure you guys know the game though. The one with like the, you're in the cauldron and you have like a sledgehammer or something. Or a pickaxe. <laughs> this very much so feels a situation like that where I fall and I gotta go all the way back up. I played that game, but I, I can't. I can't get that far. Like, I think I got as far as the, uh... Like, probably the part where most people have gone to. Like, the, the part where you have to do the trick on, like, the lights. Within, like... I don't even know if I can even give a time frame because it's like everybody takes their own time to get there. Here lies Gorb, the great mind. Okay, he just walked off. <laughs> that poor guy. He's probably just minding his, his own business and just got pushed off. You got here so much later than I did. <laughs> I don't I don't know if I'm in the right place. This feels definitely like a later game area. I will say that. I don't think I'm supposed to be here. But the game let me here and I don't know where else to go, so. Whoa. Oh, that's that thing. Makes much different noise. Not volume's a little bit louder. Yeah, I don't know where else to go, so I'm just kinda going with the flow. For all I know, this could be like a very, very big place. That looks like something. Uh, actually, is that a store? Rest. I don't know how I feel about resting in a like a room like this. <laughs> My curtains. Uh, oh yeah, this is definitely like a boss fight. There's no way there would be a rest room. <laughs> Or a resting spot, I should say. I didn't go to the bathroom. Oh. Mato. Uh, Nail Master Mato. Wait, can you make my weapon better? Hmm. Ah, uh, well met. Yes, I thought I could sense the aura of a fierce warrior approaching. I'm impressed you found my sanctuary here at the top of the world. No doubt you've endured many trials and overcome many foes in your quest to find one. Or, excuse me, find me. No, don't speak a word. I, Nail Master Motto, who was taught the art of the nail by the great nail sage himself, hereby accept you as my pupil. Let us begin the lesson immediately. Uh oh. Uh, sure. <laughs> oh no. Master the Cyclone Slash. Okay, it just happened. Oh, uh, hold square uh, to concentrate energy into the nail. Release the button while holding up or down to perform the cyclone slash. Your form. Exquisite. Now I know Now I know how my own master felt when he passed on his teachings to us. I hope you don't think me too forward when I say that I consider you to be my child. Yes, when I saw you perform my nail art, I felt a bond between us suddenly flash into existence. You honor me beyond words, my pupil. Thank you. Bow. Okay, sweet. Oh, I did a little bow too. Or maybe I just looked down. Okay, there's my bow. So hold it down.
the cutscene saved me. <laughs> yeah, I thought I was gonna um, actually have to fight him to learn that lesson. Oh sweet, I got an ability. That makes it worth coming here. Uh, let's rest. Okay, let's go ahead and continue. Let's test it out on like the first poor bug that I see. I wonder if this one didn't survive the teachings. He's like, all right, let me just tie my shoes. Ah! Jeez, that feels like <laughs> it's really harsh for that bug. This is just nothing. Let's see if I need to go maybe to the left and up more. Oops, well, <laughs> left and up, not left and down. There's no way up. Okay, I guess I'll just have to jump to the right and hope for the best. Uh, let me get my soul back. Or my HP back, I should say. Let's enter in here. One more time, let's rest, heal, and go back out. It's either going to be like a boss fight, or it's just going to be taking me back to the original area. I imagine there's an ability that maybe lets me move around more freely, like vertically, so maybe, just maybe, I have to come back here. Whee! King's Pass. Uh, wait, is this where I started? Oh, I think this is where I started. Wow, okay. Flashback. Uh, did I do this stream the right thing? I just realized, like, I said this was the second stream, and this might be the third one. <laughs> that was, like, the third stream that I've, I've played this game. Whoops. Okay, well, at least I have the map here, right? Yeah. Yeah, this is the third one. Whoopsie. <laughs> I mean, it's not like as if it's the second time I played it. <laughs> like I randomly just caught that too. I'm like, wait, did I? How do I get back? Maybe hey, let's, let's let's look at this. Higher beings, these words are for you alone. Your great strength marks you amongst us. Focus your soul, and you, you shall achieve feats of which no other, or excuse me, which others can only dream. Okay, that's that's the healing thing. Hey, cashier. <laughs> no, I definitely have the splice water at the beginning. <laughs> yeah. I didn't expect to come back to the very beginning, but here I am. Uh, is this the way up? I remember I found something early on, and I can't remember if this is the way. No, this isn't the way. Oops. Yeah, a gross little like squish at the at the very end. Um, okay, the forbidden juice, as they called it. <laughs> and I'm totally not paraphrasing and calling it the wrong thing. Okay, I should be almost back. Okay, and that's the uh Beyond this point, enter the land of king and creator. Step across this threshold and obey our laws. Bear witness to the last and only civilization, the eternal kingdom, Hollinist. Okay. Just going back and rereading it too, since I'm here. Because something new might, you know, pop up or it might make more sense now. Let's go into town. 
Okay, and I'm gonna rest here. Okay, I know I just started streaming, but I'm gonna take a quick restroom break, so I'll be right back in just a little bit.
Okay. I have returned. So, um, let's see. I got the king's idol. And I don't think that goes towards anything in particular. So, I'm assuming I still need to figure out where this key goes. And have to use that in some way. That probably is optional, though, because I don't... I don't know, maybe they would lock story things behind, behind like the, like the paywall of Geo or something. Whoops, that's not where I want to go at all. Oh man. Don't let me out. Climb the chain. Oh, there's actually something if I go up this way? Huh, neat. Nice little Easter egg. Hollow Nest Seal. Uh, huh. Let's see, uh, is it that? No, that's Cyclone Slash. The charm? What did I just find? Okay, wait, wait, wait. Oh, okay, I have two of them now. Okay, I didn't even notice that. I was like, wait, what did I just find? So one of these. Okay, sweet, sweet. Uh, I don't know how useful those are going to be at some point, but let's go up all the way and see what happens. Okay, it just takes me outside. Um, all right. This has a keyhole in it. Maybe this works. A stone door with a simple lock. Use the simple key. Yes. <laughs> you doomed us all. Like, the old man just runs up. Do you know what you've done? Uh, oh, gosh. <laughs> Jeez. That was not cool. Welcome, small intruder. I've been sound asleep in here for some time. Some time? Uh, yes. Yes. Well, now you've gone and woken me up. It's no matter, I suppose. I might even be able to help you. I am Gigi. And if you have found your way into my chamber, you must need my help. Uh, I guess kind of. I'm a little lost. You see, sometimes we leave our regrets behind in the world, like black stains. If we don't deal with these regrets, hope starts to drain from us. Do you have regrets of your own, little one? Let me peer into you for a moment. And you don't appear... Or, excuse me. Ah, you don't appear to have any lingering regrets. How lucky for you. You don't need to... Uh, you don't need the services of one such as I. Um... Did I talk to somebody with lingering regrets? Let me see. Let me talk to him again. Oh, sorry. You seem to be free of regret. You don't need the services of one such as I. Farewell. So Gigi is a confessor. Oops. Oh, I did not mean to talk to him again. All right, cool. Well, that is something I will keep in mind. If I meet somebody who's just like, oh man, I have so many regrets. Then... I will send them that way. Okay, uh, let's see. Let's see. Is there anything here I should buy? Probably should be saving for the lantern, but let me just double check. Uh, I suspect I undercharged last time. And this one is the only or the only one left. It's gonna cost you. Jeez. That's not cool. <laughs> uh well whatever. I guess he doesn't have to double down on his his low price, but <laughs> Still, take it. Um, okay. So that's a soul or a vessel fragment. Let's see. Uh, okay. So it reduces my or increases my invincibility and boost change finds my way. Okay. That actually might be useful because the last area I was in, money just rained down and everything. But I'm going to get this mask shard first. I feel like that's, that's kind of going to be useful. Uh, 500 geo. I'm left with three. So I just need one more. I like how the right side had like more of an engraving to it. That looked kind of cool. Okay, let's, let's rest. Oops. Oops. No, that is where I wanted to go. Um, okay, let's go down. Let me down. so speedy okay so i need to pull up the map again green path i ended up going 
up to the right. So let's go down and left, and then if not, then I can go to this part. And if not, then go down here. And then if not, then just go to Fog Canyon. The green path definitely seems like the place to go to. There's something there. I probably should rest here in case I in case I die so I don't have to go all the way back to dirt mouth. Okay, so let's see. Go down and then to the left. This music's so relaxing. Whoa, I almost got hit. <laughs> I almost got clapped. Almost there. I can see now why you said Noodle that this is like music to study to, or they use it to like study every so often. Because it is really relaxing. Gosh, so many Venus fly traps. Uh yeah, yeah. Okay, down here. Like I have a hard time studying to like certain video game music. OSTs because as much as they are relaxing, I have the tendency to recall and start thinking of the game while I'm listening to it. And I'm like, gosh, I actually can't study to this. And I have to like go to something else. And it makes me super sad. But yeah, it is just what it is. Because I, I have a hard time concentrating sometimes. Oh, you just came back after 10 minutes on a phone call? No, no worries. Yeah, you didn't you didn't miss anything. I literally just like... Uh, well, I guess like maybe I talked to the confessor, Gigi. I used a simple key up top in uh, Dirt Mouth. Talked to them. Got a little bit of a jump scare. And then just came down here. And now I'm just... Here I am. So I guess that was something. But it, I don't think anything came of it. I don't have any regrets. According to, to Gigi, so... Um, gosh, so I don't, yeah, I don't think I can leave the faith that. You look like something I should be utilizing. Actually, I could do that if there's another one over there, but I don't think I'm supposed to be here yet. Yeah. Okay. Wait, wait, can I go down and to the right? Oh, no. Okay. No, it's fine. So now let's go to the right. Uh, yeah, yeah, let's go to the right. Oops, that's not what I want to do. <laughs> that poor, poor monolith there, or stone tower, or whatever it is. Okay, a little bit more to the right. And then up and to the right. Right? Uh, yep. Yeah. Okay, up. And... Whoops. And right. Okay. Oh, I still got hit by that? Really? Jeez. I actually looked away too, so if something else happened, then I just missed it. But I walked there thinking I was fine. Okay, that's just a trap. Uh oh. <laughs> Wait, oh, is that. Oh, it's just background. Okay, I thought that was actually like an actual like thorn bush that I can go through. Cut everything. Okay, so I need to go up top first. This is just a shortcut when I've actually done it. Aw, oh, dang it. I feel like the frames dropped and kind of messed me up, but that's fine. Okay, let's heal. So I gotta go down and to the right. Aw, oh, dang it. Okay, too early. Okay, sweet. What is this? This uh, mask shard? Thorns of Agony. Okay. I like the layout of the room. And the fact that it gives you an item related to that, it does kind of remind me of how Castlevania does too. Let's check it out. 
so thorns of agony it senses the pain of its bearer and lashes out at the world around them when taking damage sprout thorny vines that damage nearby foes huh that's kind of neat actually i can see that being useful i like that more than the one that releases spores because that one seems a little situational um okay so now that kind of took me to a dead end so let's go down into the right and head over to the fog canyon potentially oops i should have tacked downward all right well, he's not a problem anymore knocked them in the mountain dew uh yeah let's keep going right heal in general you would recommend me trying them out they can surprise me yeah that's a fair point yeah because maybe there's more to it than the description says i mean that's pretty common in games to not be like completely open with the way that something works i just ran into him instead of attacking him i mean to be fair the the one dude who sold me some of the charms in the first place didn't tell me that they were fragile so I guess this game's already got a track record for not being completely transparent with things. Not necessarily in a bad way, though, because it is kind of funny that he was kind of sketchy, and then on top of that, like, yeah, he actually was <laughs> following through with the sketchiness. It's like buying uh, sneakers in the back alley and then figuring out that they're not actually that good. <laughs> not that I've ever done that, you know. <laughs> no, I actually really haven't done that. As much as it sounds like I'm joking, I haven't, to my knowledge, bought something that's like bootleg and then see the quality diminish very, very rapidly. <laughs> you don't know? Don't know? It sounds like experience from real life. Not to my knowledge. If I have bought a bootleg, I don't know. So it must be a really bo uh, good bootleg. Um. Okay, let's go to the right. Let's see. Whoa, that was weird. I was holding right the whole time. Why'd I go left? Unless it was like off the wall or something, but that was weird. Like, I didn't take my thumb off the right, uh, the D-pad at all. Nice. I just noticed I have 69 Geo. Uh, okay. Let's go down to the left first, and then I'll go to the Fog Canyon. Okay, that thing, uh. Okay, uh, a little bit more, I think. Like, that was always, like, a hard thing when, like, I played, uh, like, hard games. It's like, I would see people with, like, fake cards and stuff like that, and I would, I would hate to break it to them, but I'd be like, yeah, you know, this is, like, whenever they're, like, trading and stuff like that, and I would point it out. And I always felt bad when they were genuinely shocked by it, because I'm just like, I'm so sorry. <laughs> I really, like, I don't want to be the one to tell you bad news, but, like, I think it's it's a pretty note earlier on. Because if, if you don't know and you keep buying them from a place and they, you know, keep selling you fake ones, that's that's not good. That's not good. May as well start going for the authentic ones. It thankfully didn't happen too often, but sometimes I tell people and they're like, oh yeah, I know, I just, like, I have this like just because i like it and other times they'd be pretty distraught and like i'm so i'm so sorry and i've seen some like pretty bad fake cards too like pretty obvious so like for the most part when it was pretty obvious they already knew they're just like oh yeah i just keep it because you know i like it or something so i'm like okay cool it's not it's not like too much of like a a letdown or anything like that. I actually have some fake cards too, but I, I got those knowingly that that they were fake. I think I got them for for free actually, now that I think on it. And <laughs> they can get pretty funny. So Okay, let's go and go this way. Now that I know I can do this. Cause I really didn't know this was a thing. So <laughs> now that I know that I realized that in the last part I was in that I could do that, so 
maybe this is maybe this is the path to the next area. It's actually kind of cool how you can travel like that. A little caterpillar. Okay, cool. You are free, little caterpillar friend. Go and spread the word of how awesome I am. Let your parents know so that when I come and visit you, they throw money at me. Uh, okay, platform. Okay, where do you go? Okay. I feel so bad for this one. He's just like, stop hitting me. Oh, geez, I messed it up. <laughs> I could have wall dashed too, and then just started wall jumping, but. There we go. Okay, I don't think there's anything to the right. I can just do this, actually. And then, if we go up here, maybe I can look down and see what's down to the right. Ooh, it's dark. Oh, sweet. Oh, that's not the same thing I was thinking. Well, okay, cool. I'll still take it. <laughs> that works, but you think I'm supposed to get here another way? I can see that, too. I can see that being like, oh, you're supposed to get this ability. Wait, why are you doing it that way? <laughs> That's what I was mentioning. I'm like, I think I said it, or maybe I just thought it. Like, I don't know if this is exactly how I'm supposed to do this, but it works, so. Not necessarily linear, but that's okay. It's not always a bad thing. Actually, I would say that a lot of times it's a good thing. Uh, though once our lands, a pale being lays... Okay, though once our lands, a pale being lays claim to the caverns ahead. It may appear benevolent, but it does not share a dream. Be wary to wander that place. Okay. Pale beings lay claim to the caverns ahead. It may appear benevolent, but it does not share a dream. Okay. So this is going to be like the mantis thing all over again, probably. Uh, oh, I can't even get up here. It's blocked off. Aw, oh, man. Can I shoot it? No. It crushed me. <laughs> no, it didn't work like that either. Okay, well, I guess I can't go up here anyways. Unless I'm, like, supposed to find another route. Oops. like keep smacking my head above me yeah i think I'm, i don't think i'm supposed to be here yet well it's worth a try i at least found like a a soul shard if that's what that's called uh, okay he's gonna be down below me so let's go ahead and go okay cool okay that's where i was at I don't actually don't want to be in the line of sight for that. I need to check the map. Okay, let's go to the Fog Canyon then. That's that's the one place I don't have the map for yet. And I have not been back there in quite a bit. Because I got out of there really quick. I'm going to see if I can go to the bench, too, so I can fill up the map. Uh, or maybe not. 
Can I? Oh, no, it's a platform I can jump on. Okay. Gosh, it kind of blurs in with the background. Oh, whoops, I'm not in the room I think I'm in. Okay, <laughs> that makes a lot more sense. I was like, wait, this doesn't look, this doesn't look right at all. Okay, now I can go up. I thought I was in this room when I was in that last room. Okay, that takes me, uh, do I actually know what that is? Well, hold on, let me, let me go to the bench first and then go over there. I'm getting a little ahead of myself. Okay, cool. Something over here. Okay, now we can go check that out. Because I should be paying more attention to, like, certain areas. Now that I have more abilities. There is one particular spot that I do remember. I don't remember how it how to get there or where it's at. But there is one particular spot that I remember where you can wall jump with spikes on the wall. And I haven't been able to find it. But I know it's an area I've been to. Or been at. Or been to, sorry. I know it's in an area I've been to, so... I need to kind of keep an eye out for that one, too. I didn't see exactly where it was at. Okay, what's in here? Oops. Well, it's spikes. I know that. <laughs> I know that now. Um. Gosh, it's so dark. Okay. Um. Leap of Faith wasn't such a bad idea. Oh, there's another thing here. Okay, that's not where I'm supposed to go. I'm uh, back at the beginning. It's so dark. <laughs> I'm definitely supposed to have the lantern. I would if he's not charging 1800 for it. Come on, man. Times are tough. Oh, I probably have to find my way out of here, too. This is going to be... I'm not setting myself up well at all. Oh gosh. I'm just like leap of faithing it. Uh oh. Okay, cool. <laughs> I should not go that far into that without a lantern. I really shouldn't. Oh, bad time to heal. Okay, I will remember this room then. Uh, can I leave a marker on here? Uh, markers. Let's uh, leave one right here. Let's, uh, I'll use the golden ones to tell me I need light. So we'll, we'll do that. I'm honestly genuinely surprised I even got that far without being able to see. But I'm kind of glad that it didn't work out because I don't know how it would have gotten out. I mean, I guess I could have fallen on the spikes and taken a somewhat shortcut out, but... Oops. Okay, I'm going to go back to the bench, heal up. While using markers, I just wander around for hours like the full I am. <laughs> it's okay. Don't feel bad. I normally don't use markers in games, and I just happen to remember it at that specific moment, because I tend to forget a lot about markers in the first place. It's funny how games give you, like, tools to, like, succeed, and I'm like, here you go, in case you have trouble with this. And I'm just like, I can't remember where this is at. And they're like, well, I gave you something for that. Did you ever consider using that? It's like... No. Why would I do that? That's dumb. I'm lost. And you're like, ugh. As a game developer, this hurts so much. Just hearing this. Like, 
you can have all the tools for success and still just kind of like <laughs> just like flop like that okay i hear you i don't see you but i really really need your map are you in the mountain dew i can't go through here ah oh geez And I can't shoot something through that, right? Dang it. Okay. I wonder if he's, like, conjuring something back there. Like, this is actually, like, a really demonic chant. He sounds like he's right down here, though. have to come back to him um well it goes from underneath so maybe there's a room underneath that I can use to shut it off okay I guess that was the good choice to do that. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. <laughs> okay, cool. Hit stun helped a lot. Um... I didn't know I could also slide down while attacking, so that's actually good to know. Okay. Have I been here? I feel like I have. Gosh. I'm basically just gonna have to re-explore this area because I never found the map. So it's just gonna kind of have to be going through over and over again. Oops, oops, oops. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Whoops. Well, let's go and use all those souls. gun. Okay, well, it's fine. <laughs> I mean, I only just healed, but let you know if I want to hit for where to go next. I think, I think I'm okay. At this particular point in time, I think I should be okay. Mostly just because, like, <laughs> direct hit. <laughs> yeah, he, he definitely got me with that, like, it, it felt like quite a hit too, because like I straight up jumped into it. But yeah, no, I, I think I should be okay in terms of direction. Ugh. Because I feel like, for the most part, I've been finding things here and there, despite being lost. Okay, I can go up. So, like, one way or another, I'm still making progress in its own way. Maybe not story-wise, but still finding places. Uh, I don't have a map for this place either. Jeez. This kind of feels familiar, too. Um. Okay, yeah, this, this feels a little familiar. Uh, overgrown mound. Oh, jeez. Okay. That's fine. I got two HP back. Actually, gosh, wait. No, this feels really familiar. Was I actually here? These enemies definitely have, have dealt with. Uh, I'll go a little bit into this. And if it feels too familiar, then I'll uh, just kind of go back. I'm pretty sure. Oh. Oh, 
Oh, jeez. Okay. Well, that sucked, but it's fine. Okay, heal twice. Oh. <laughs> Dang it. Okay, I gotta... Gosh, this is actually getting a lot harder. I just noticed they're spawning in larger numbers. Uh, dang it. Okay, so I didn't get hit from that. I don't think. Okay, sweet. Jeez. That was, uh... That was not cool. That didn't seem familiar at all, so I guess I haven't been here. You don't recall this, but you haven't been watching every second? No, you're all good. I don't recall this either, honestly speaking. This this feels pretty new. Okay, that also wasn't destroyed, so I'm assuming this is new. What are you? Let's just jump right into you. <laughs> I am dead. Consume the hollowing, or, yeah, howling wraiths. Uh, tab circle while holding up to unleash the wraiths. Um, spells will deplete soul. Okay, so tab circle while holding up. So, okay. I'm gonna hope that I remember how to do that. Nice. That looks like it's pretty strong. I thought this was somebody I could talk to as well. That's neat. That wasn't like story wise, but that's another ability, so I'll take it. Okay, let's heal. Whenever I get the map for this area, too, at least I'll know that this is a, a dead end, so. Even though that plant looked like. Actually, maybe I was supposed to do something with that plant. Wait, let me go back. Sorry, I just, like, had a revelation that maybe I was supposed to do more. Okay, let's heal. Oh, well, cool. Oh, sweet. It brought me closer. Okay, let's try it right here. Okay, nope. That was it. All right, well, it's fine. Uh, gosh, you guys followed me? I feel so honored. Looks like an empty shell to you. <laughs> it looked... It looked like something, but nothing was happening with it, so maybe I need to come back to it. Give me souls. Apparently I did not uh, kill these yet either. I guess I, I should be using that as an indication if I've been to an area. If like killing an enemy gives me a new like monster thing. Wait, that was a closed off path? Oh, that's right. I came from ab above. That's right. Okay. Yep. No map for this area. What am I hearing? Sounds like... Oh, it's another one of these things. Okay, well... Does this do anything, though? No. Okay, well, worth a shot. I'm assuming whenever I get the power to dispel those that it would tell me. So... Okay, I went up before. Let's go here. Okay, and let's go to the right. Because there's... Oh, no, that's right. There's a way up, too. Wee. I think I'm still in the Fog Canyon, too. 
This is a canyon? It still looks like a garden to me, but... What is this? A hull and a seal. Okay, another one of those. Collecting these for somebody, doing the hard work. I hope they, like, actually give me a decent amount of money for these. Oh? Um, I think there's more to, to this room than just what I've found, but I guess maybe not. Okay, maybe there's nothing here. Okay, anything down there? Uh, okay, there's some land. Oh, there's not land, okay. <laughs> Whoops. That was wrong. That was very wrong. So, I went to the left instead of going up. Oop, okay, well, there goes my extra HP. <laughs> I thought I could sneakily go underneath it, but then I forgot that it would have a blast range anyways, so. Let's check out the left side, because I've been hugging the right side for a while. This takes me back up, out, right? Um, yeah. Okay. Well, at least I know the left path isn't the path I need to go to anymore for the time being. Okay, so back to the right. I know I've been through this way, so maybe I should just follow the signs. Like, Whoops, okay, direct hit. <laughs> Maybe I should just follow the signs. I've been kind of just hitting them and assuming that they're just like pointing me to wherever. But they could actually be pointing me to where I need to go in the story. That makes too much sense, but... You know. <laughs> there is one of the game was it where I was like, this makes a lot of sense, let me not do this. And just like completely ignored it. Oh, sweet. Okay. No blasty ball. Uh, to the left. So let's go here. And what would this... No, I need to be able to go into the soda. So let's, let's pass on that. Oops. What's down here? Okay. Gosh, that's a huge explosion. Okay, this is pointing me something, and that's pointing me something as well. Is this a stag? Yeah, this is... wait. This is Queen Station. Okay. I definitely went through here. Oops. I definitely went through here. Let me set the bench then, and then I'll go back up and go left. The stag is more to the... Yeah, okay. So the signs do help. They do help. Let's rest. This is... Oh yeah, that's right, it's Spree Mantis. This place must have once been quite the hub, built at the border between two lands. That misty drop to one side and those bulbous growths on the other. The other place seems particularly welcoming, so while my little uh, while my little tree is lost, I think I'll stay right here. Okay, let's um... Let's go back up that way and go to the left instead. I think it was this way. Whoops. <laughs> this is a dead end. 
<laughs> I've been avoiding the story so thoroughly. It almost feels like I'm wandering on purpose, but I, you know I'm not, though. Yeah, I, I'm really not. Like, I'm actually trying to figure out where to go. I have the tendency, if you didn't notice in Metroid Dread, I have the tendency to somehow uh, miss, uh, miss some stuff when it's pointing me in that direction. And it's funny, too, because, like, like, I'll kind of say, like, oh, yeah, I want to go the wrong way so that I can go the right way and not have to backtrack. But then I just go the wrong way altogether. This is all new. This is all new. So maybe this is where I'm supposed to go. I definitely don't recognize this dude. Oh, that could have been there, though. Oh, whoops. <laughs> uh, Mirabelle, the banker. Hello there, dearie. I was about to close up shop and run. Until you came along, I provide a banking service if you're interested. Losing one's geo is a terrible thing, and it's so much more likely if you carry it about on yourself my vault is much more secure and all my time as a banker i've never lost a single geo maybe you'd consider opening an account uh oh man i gotta pay to open an account well uh, gosh is this even worth it i don't know uh yeah it kind of is i don't have that much yeah whatever i'll, I'll do it <laughs> Just you. Geo. Realistic, yeah. <laughs> You're a smart one. Next time some dreadful beastie gets the best of you, you'll be glad to know your geo safe with my shell or uh, my vault. <laughs> Just keeps it in her shell. Now let's do some banking. Uh maximum balance is forty five hundred. Okay, let's go ahead and deposit uh all of it. Oh, I can I can only do increments of fifty. Okay, let's deposit two hundred uh, and exit. Geo Kalala. Uh, goodbye then. Stay safe. Okay, so that's the banker. I wonder if she appears in other places then. Still no map. Um, let's go in here. If they're going by Koopa standards, they're basically keeping Geo in their undergarments. <laughs> I mean, yeah, that's pretty valid because people do that too. People uh, most definitely do that. Um, okay, so I have a map for here, the fungal wastes. Gosh, is it the... What was that room to the right? With the little statue in it. I don't, I don't remember. It wouldn't take me too long to get there. Because there's nothing in here. That I can get at the moment, so I just kind of have to. Hmm. Wait, can I get in here? I'm just thinking because the fog canyon didn't really have much too. I I did. That. I feel like I went through it pretty pretty easily. I guess I'll just go. Yeah, I'll just go to that room and see. See what's there. Oops, okay. There's the maps. There are the pieces of paper, because this dude just leaves them lying around. Um, now let's go down and then to the right. Yeah, no, I'm legit not. <laughs> I promise I'm not. I'm not avoiding the story. I actually am just like trying to figure out where to go. And that's the thing with like these kind of games too. Is like if you don't remember like a lot of stuff, it's very, very easy to uh, kind of like go about and just re-explore areas you've been to. 
and I have the tendency, like I said, not using markers and stuff like that, um, to to put myself in a situation like that. So, gosh, I can't. Huh? That was weird. I couldn't kind of go down for some reason. Uh, okay. Maybe I'll have better luck here. So there's one thing here that's shown on the map. This is nothing. Okay, let's go here. I still have the small key, right? Nope, I used it. Oh, geez. Okay. Ugh. Okay, well, that's unfortunate. I thought I would still have the key. I guess it was a one-time use thing. Uh, what does it say? Okay. Maybe I can get over here now. I don't remember the wall jumping that way, so maybe this is actually the way. Oh, whoa, whoa. Whew, okay. I'm glad that actually worked. Yeah, this definitely doesn't feel like something I've done. So sweet. Okay, I'm making progress. Potentially. What did that say again? Okay, here ends the Pilgrim's Way. Hollowness heart lays open before you. Proceed onward to share its glory. Okay, yeah, so this is definitely giving me an idea of me getting towards the, the capital. Okay, now I need to parkour my way over there. Uh, oof, what a tight squeeze. Okay. Ah, oh, dang it. Okay, it's a little late. Oh, there's another one up there. Okay, I see now. Okay, so I need to drop down, jump to the right, and then jump to the left. Gosh, what Mario Maker <laughs> madness is this? Okay, there we go. We know I want to see it this time. Ah, oh, dang it. <laughs> I waited too long. Okay, what do we got here? Uh, oh, I think I have something to put in there. A large knight statue. There's a socket on his chest. Enter the sea crest. Yes. This thing just like falls down and crushes me. Oh, geez, it actually is. <laughs> it's actually moving down. Um. Seems like a door I shouldn't have opened. Oh. Oh, no. It's not good. <laughs> I don't know if I like that. I'm trapped. With no way out. Certainly not this route that I'm taking. Okay, I guess eventually I can get out, but I need to find this this ground poundy thing. Okay, that's fine. Let's go down. It's kind of cool. I found like some abilities. Whoa. <laughs> I saw it and I went to attack it. I didn't think it was going to shriek. <laughs> this thing falls down and crushes me. I'll gladly do so. Yeah, it's almost as if I commanded it to do it. <laughs> yeah, just like lock behind me, will you? <laughs> Thanks. Oh, that's the thing when, like, something happens and you're like, oh, it sucks if this happens, and then it happens in a game. And you're like, oh, well then. Ooh, who are you? Aha, you cannot. Oh, whoops. Hey, you shouldn't be able to counter that. Oh, geez. <laughs> yeah, this isn't fair. Okay, let me just shoot him. <laughs> This is like the city entrance in general. I don't have a map for it, so let's uh, let's go to the right first. Then I'll go up. What was that? Oh, it's a little bad thing again. Okay. Oh, geez. Okay, that's what they do. So I just got lucky the first time. This little head just lies there too. 
gosh, I got no soul. Okay, there we go. Right here. Okay, okay this kind of sucks because I used the charge beam last time to finish him off. Welcome to one of your favorite areas. Okay, cool. Sweet. So I am I am in another area. If I didn't know already, but in addition to that, it's also a cool area. Sweet. Okay, that's much easier to do that, that way. You held back until you heard the music. Is it your favorite area because of the music? Hey no minimus. No, this isn't the Beatles. <laughs> Although there are Beatles in this game. Aha, you didn't account for the vertical axis, old man. True power of the y-axis. <laughs> That's part of it, but also the feel of the place. It is raining. It is raining, so it's kind of nice. This definitely feels very city-esque. It's even more city-esque considering the fact I'm abusing the, the elevator. If you ever lived in a city and you see somebody like using the elevator, you know what I mean. Like, let me hold my arm and hold the elevator open for somebody while like jamming this door open when it's clearly trying to crush me. Okay, let me go. I'm gonna go back up top. I want to see what the other route is. Sorry for the short music. <laughs> it sounded nice, but I. I I want to make sure I kind of like check the spot out too in case. Okay. Well, that was a quick answer to my uh, curiosity. Okay, back to the nice calming sounds of rain. Do I need to hold up or down? Maybe I need to hit this way. Oh, okay, that was... Oh, there was a switch up there. Okay, okay, I didn't see that at all. That that makes sense now. Okay. <laughs> I was so confused. Hey, it's you! This is a cozy spot. Look at this. He's sitting on the bench looking at the rain outside. He's just leaning over to me. That's actually kind of a nice touch. Let's see what he's got to say. Uh, listen. The capital lies before us, my friend. What a somber, somber place it seems, and one that holds the answers to many, uh, yeah, to many a mystery. I too have felt the pull of this place, though now I sit before it, I find myself hesitant to descend. I f is it fear, I wonder? Or is it something else that holds me back? That's why I'm kind of getting the vibe too from this. Is that I'm going to a place that's not meant to be traveled to. And that's kind of the vibe I'm getting so far. Is that like, there's kind of a reason why this is closed off. So I'm kind of glad that they're kind of elaborating more on that. Always talk multiple times. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Thank you for reminding me. The city looks to be built into an enormous cavern, and the rain pours down from cracks in the stone above. There must be a lot of water up there somewhere. I suppose that if the cave roof stays strong this long, it should hold for us. Before I leave this kingdom, I'd like to see where all that water comes from. What a sight it must be. Let's listen to him again. If you look down from here, through the rain, you can just make out those twisted sentries. Their husks will st uh, still stuck in endless patrol. I'd be cautious around them, my short friend. Their training will not have been forgotten. This pr uh, The city presents some formidable foes. Hmm. Okay, so nice, nice. 
Isn't this a wonderful spot for rest? I so love the sound of the rain upon glass. Yeah, same here. <laughs> same here. Okay, cool. Thank you for reminding me. I, I actually really did forget that I'm supposed to talk to him multiple times. Like, I've been doing it earlier, but like whenever I talk to somebody again, I just talk one time and I'm like, alright, that's all we got to say. And that's kind of nice that he actually gave me a warning about what's to come. Huh, huh, huh. Oh, dang it. Okay, sweet. <laughs> I'll take those cheese hits. Not cheese its cheese hits. Cheese its are good too. Except for the thing with cheese its is that I have eaten too many uh, multiple times in my life and gotten sick of them. <laughs> so I really gotta kind of like take it a little slower with them. They're so good. So good. A little too good. Um, okay, let's see. Let's see where this takes me. I like how the music's getting louder. The City of Tears. Okay, there's a guy patrolling here. Uh, actually, yeah, let's go and check this out. There was a sign pointing over here, so let's let's see what we got. Okay, cool. I'm glad I can actually go in the water. I wasn't entirely sure about that. Gosh, this place is actually really cool. I'm not gonna lie. I'm like feeling it more and more as I'm playing through it. I'm like, I really like the vibe I'm getting from this place. Whenever you eat too many cheese it's you get a new flavor. That's that is a solid idea. But for me for me personally, my issue is that I get too attached to like a flavor. And then I'm just like, gosh, I don't want anything else but this flavor and this flavor alone. And then like I'll eat too much of it, get sick, and then I'm like, Oh man, there's all these other flavors. There's like Parmesan cheese, it's maybe I'll like those. And then my brain's just like, no, you want the original ones. Only those. <laughs> like I just don't eat them at all because <laughs> they're so good yeah with like a lot of things too I'll have the same issue with like eating at like fast food places where I'll get the same thing over and over again uh, can I take this maybe not oh I hear a blacksmith or something I'm pretty sure that's a blacksmith I hear a hammer hitting steel You only like the white Cheez-Its. They always leave a weird taste for you. But you can be picky. I, I've i never actually tried the other one, so maybe I should try them. Maybe that would solve my dilemma of eating too many Cheez-Its of a specific flavor. Okay, this looks very blacksmithy. Um, okay, yeah, let's go in. Just listening to the rhythm of it. I was like... He's doing it in a certain way. White cheddar is pretty good. Oh, the pretzels and Cheetos ones are pretty good too. I'll have to try the white cheddar ones. That's two people in chat telling me they're pretty good. So I, I think maybe next time I go to the store, I'll, I'll look and maybe pick up some. They're, they are Parmesan, right? Or is it Parmesan for white cheddar or is it a different flavor? Mm, have you brought me another nail to be honed? Leave it on the ground and return later if you're still breathing. <laughs> uh, Stenja. Oh, he's still thinking of somebody else. Hmm. Oh, I thought you were someone else. After a nail smith, are you? Well, you found one. I'm not much for talk, but if it's a nail that needs repaired, then you've come to the right bug. Your own nail is quite uh, is in quite a sorry state. It's obviously not one of mine. Still, anything can be refined with enough effort and skill, even that broken blade. If you'd like, I can reforge your nail. It'll make the blade far more deadly. Uh, pay Geo to strengthen the nail. No, I don't have enough. <laughs> no. Ah, uh, you don't have enough to have the Geo. Come and see me when you do. I knew I shouldn't have opened that bank account. Biggest scam of the century. Oh man. 
<laughs> this sucks. Okay, I guess I gotta come back. I made it here. The lady's probably just like, yes, your money's keeping me nice and warm. <laughs> oh, man. I feel so cheated. Oops. Yeah, I'm sure when I go to the store, if I see the, the Cheez-Its, I'll be like, oh, okay, I think... Because I think of, if I remember correctly, there's like one flavor for the white cheese. Like, I think that's actually the name, but it wasn't was entirely sure, but I mean, hey, there's nothing stopping me from getting both, right? Just more cheese that's in my life. Now I can save up for anything in that bank account. That's true. But I could have continued saving if I was killing enemies quicker. Because these two hits for killing these enemies is, uh, is definitely something. It's costing me some HP here and there. So 250. I just need, was it like 62 more? Yeah. Like another snack that I've been really into is like goldfish. Goldfish are really good too. That's a, another good cheesy snack. He just fell in the water. <laughs> he just like tackled himself to his own death. Okay, what is this? I see three Among Us characters in the center. I'm going to the Among Us room. We will all discuss who we think is the imposter. Look at him standing there all proud. He's like, I can take this. You like the pretzel goldfish? I haven't tried those either. Like, like I said, I'm so, I'm not a picky person with flavors. My logic is this, and it's kind of like, it's kind of gives more depth into it. What happens is I try something. I like it a lot. And I'm like, this is great. And then the next time, let me, let me read this real quick. Now go ahead. A mechanism with a simple keyhole. Uh, okay. I got to buy another key. I'll try it. And then I'll be like, man, this was great. And I finish it. Then I come back the next time to wherever. I'm like, huh, I could try something new because these other things look good. And then I'm like, but if I don't get the thing I liked, that's one less time I get it. Oh, wait. <laughs> Among Us. Am I dead? Uh oh. Again, we meet a little ghost. I'm normally quite perceptive. You understand, uh, you and I, or excuse me, you I underestimated, though I've since guessed the truth. You've seen beyond this kingdom's bounds. Yours is resilience born of two voids. It's no surprise then you've managed to reach the heart of this world. In doing, uh, excuse me, in so doing, you shall know the sacrifice that keeps it standing. If knowing that truth, you'd still attempt a role in hollow nest per uh, perpetuation, seek the grave of in ash and the mark it would grant to one like you. Ha! Grave in ash. Okay. I will not remember that. <laughs> I'll try to, but, um, but yeah. So then I'll be like, wait, does this say anything different? Memorial to the hollow Knight. In the black vault far above, through, through its sacrifice, Hollow Nest last eternal. Okay. Huh. Neat. Yeah, so that's one less chance for me to try something new. That's true. But then, like, it's also hard for me because I'm like, if I get something else and I don't like it, then then this trip I don't get the thing that I, that I do like. And it's very hard, too, with things that I really, really like because I'm like, it's going to be hard to top that. And... Sometimes it pays off. Sometimes I actually do find something that I like more. But most of the time, I end up leaving with, like, that feeling of, like, gosh, you know what? Like, I don't know, like, I got... I got uh, a cheeseburger this time, but I really was, you know, liking those chicken nuggets. 
Like I should have gotten chicken nuggets instead. And I, that always happens to me. And to the thing with like eating too much goldfish and the taste goes off, that yeah, that's exactly what happens to me after eating it after a while. Is I'll eat too many goldfish and I'm like, I my tongue is not receiving the flavorfulness of of, these, of this goldfish bag anymore and I feel sad I'm like oh man I ate too many and then I have to give myself like a very long hiatus before like I get that sensation back where my tongue's like what is this thing this delicacy of sorts so right now I'm like I think it's gosh it's been a while since I've had cheese it so maybe maybe I'm like back to the square one with it I reset my palate Okay, 242. Uh, okay, 243. I just need... Oh, I got two. Okay, 244. So I need six more, and then I can upgrade my blade. And I'm assuming then that means I have to go back to the, the Mantis area, because definitely, definitely, I think I need to come back here or something. I, I didn't see anything else I could really go up for. Okay, three more. <laughs> Give me enough money to upgrade. No, don't hit me. <laughs> no fighting back. No, you're fighting back even though I'm jumping into you. Okay, sweet. <laughs> you fall into that trap and it's currently that thing with goldfish right now. We're alternating because I'm, I'm right now currently into goldfish and may potentially be still not as crazy about Cheez-Its. So probably like it'll be like when I'm into Cheez-Its and you may be like into goldfish again. We'll just alternate back. <laughs> it's just funny how that stuff works. Like I don't know if it's maybe that's too flavorful to where like our tongues are like <laughs> that's too much for me to handle or or what exactly it is. Okay, let's go and enter here. Ah, Ranjo Stenda. Oh, you've returned. If you'd like, I can reforge your nail. It'll make the blade far more deadly. Uh, yes. It's like my fares have gone up. Supply and demand. As you wish. I'll get to work then. That last one sounded really like. Really strong. There we go. The reforging is complete. I've honed your nail's edge. You'll find it much stronger than it used to be. Head out there and test its strength against your foes. <laughs> you and your boyfriend used to eat goldfish all the time but got sick of them. Then <laughs> waited, I think, three years before buying goldfish again. <laughs> yeah, it'll be like long spurts like that sometimes. Like, it'll be years. Like sometimes for me, not not always, but but sometimes it will be. All right, sweet, one hit. That's exactly what I was hoping for. Aha! You don't stand a chance now, old man. Four hits. That's so much better. I'm invincible. Always talk multiple times. Dang it! <laughs> no, no, no. I'll go back. I'll go back. I'm so sorry. That's such a hard thing to get into the mindset, too, because not a lot of games really do that. Not a lot of games really have other dialogue once you go back multiple times. And I'm not saying that as a bad thing uh, or a good thing. Like, um, I kind of would prefer it, though, overall, if they did have more things to say. But yeah, maybe there's more games I'm aware of, too, because it's not like I've played everything. But uh, hmm? Oh, you've returned. If you bring me a piece of pale ore, I can forge it into your nail and make it stronger still. Okay, pale ore. A few games trained you to talk to NPCs at least twice uh, to check. You know, it's funny you say that because it reminds me too, uh, Xenoblade also kind of has that too. And I've definitely played that, so maybe it's just been a while for me since I played a game that does that. So maybe not a lot of games, but, you know, I have played them. It's just been a while. 
Because it gives you, like, you know, story too. And I think in Xenoblade 2, it also gives you, like, affinity with, like, certain town members. So you'll talk to them the first time, and they're like, Hi, I'm so-and-so. And then you talk to them the second time, and they're like, Uh, like, Becky is so, like, cool, and, you know, she sells the best bread. And then, like, it'll be, like, an affinity chart, and it'll be, like, regular customer. And then the other one's like, Oh, that owns a bakery or stuff like that. Not that anybody's named Becky in, uh, in Xenoblade, because that's a, not a very Xenoblade-esque name. Well, maybe for, like, X, but... Ooh, he just parried me. Let's heal. <laughs> you do it on accident by clicking through the dialogue a little too quickly. <laughs> yeah, it's like the owl in Ocarina of Time. And he's like, did you get all that? And it's, like, default on no, and he's like, alright, let me explain it again. You're like, no. <laughs> It's like one of the earlier video game trolls of all time. Okay. Oh, you're still here. Let's rest. Okay, so same thing. Yeah, it's, it is a really nice upgrade. I'm really liking how I'm killing them a lot faster. Oh, there's something in the middle here. I didn't see that the first time. The great gates have been sealed. None shall enter, none shall leave. Ooh, okay, I don't know who's trying to leave, but that's interesting. Oh gosh, uh... <laughs> Who puts spikes on top of an elevator? That's just cruel. Yeah, that's what you get for being impatient, punk. <laughs> oh man, that's horrible. Like, there's already enough to deal with if you fall down an elevator shaft without a... Uh... An elevator in the thing. <laughs> they have to be worried about spikes too. <laughs> you saw that coming. <laughs> you knew it was gonna fall down. <laughs> oh gosh, the bat. Ah! <laughs> Dang it. I tried to run away and I was too slow. In the great words of Sonic, I was too slow. Oops, he jumped, huh? Oh, yeah, he did it last time too. I guess it just caught me off guard this time. Thank goodness Undertale didn't do that too with the papyrus and the random puzzle part. What? What was that part? I've I've played Undertale, so you guys can feel free to spoil. Well, I guess I think everybody in chat's played it. Uh, if not, then <laughs> spoiler alert. But. Um, what was the puzzle part? I'm actually trying to remember that. The tiles? Uh, gosh, it's been such a long since I played under a uh, long time since I played Undertale. I'm trying to remember what it was. Like the I'm trying to remember the tiles. I mean, um, before Snowden. Okay, this is kind of ringing a bell. You'll send a link in the Discord? Okay, cool. Yeah, I'll, I'll check it out. Oh man, I can't go down. Wait, actually, can I even get out of here? The door's still closed, right? Uh oh. Okay, I guess I really am stuck here then. Um. Hmm. There's a different assortment of tiles of different colors. Is it that you have to, like step on them in a certain order? Is that what it is? This sounds so familiar. I feel so bad because I'm like, I... I know you guys are right, too. I'm like, I just genuinely can't remember it. It sounds so familiar, though. Here, when when it's posted in Discord, I'll look at it because now it's, it's on the back of my mind. My brain's just like... It's just loading it very slowly. Like an AOL dial-up tone. Like, just processing it. Like, it's been years since I've played Undertale, and maybe I should go back and play it, because... Especially if they're going to release, like, um, like another game, or if they, you know, decide to do something touching up on that, it wouldn't be a bad idea to refresh the, the lore and stuff. <laughs> I 
<laughs> it's been posted. Don't worry, your brain's constantly in AOL dial-up tone. <laughs> Here, let me let me check it real quick. Okay. Um. Oh my gosh. Okay. Yeah. I'm. I'm seeing the. Oops. What was the sound for that? I just got in, like an ad, and I had my volume up, so I'm like, I didn't hear it. I don't know if the microphone picked it up, but. There's just like a minute. I'm just gonna watch this. This feels so familiar. Okay, I actually think I remember how this plays out. Oh, man. Okay, yeah, that, that definitely, that, thank you. Yeah, I completely forgot about that. That's actually super funny. I think that's why I forgot about it too is, well, I, I won't give any spoilers, but yeah, that that's actually hilarious. <laughs> oh man, it's been years since I played that. Uh, okay, so let me let me catch up with chat real quick before I continue. Um... Uh, okay, so you just finished Undertale, Neutral Rune, and okay, and then started a bit of Delta Rune, but not that far in, in Delta Rune. Um. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Yeah, uh, I guess I'll give another spoiler alert in case anybody's watching this on in the future. Um, yeah, I haven't. I know about the thing with with Undertale with like the the genocide route. I never did that one. Whoops, never did that one myself. So I don't know if I can bring myself to do it either. Yeah, exactly. It's it's something. It definitely like tugs at your heartstrings for sure. Because, like, especially, too, if you play the game the neutral route in the first way. Um, then, yeah. But, yeah, I, I haven't played um, Deltarune all that much. I think I played a little bit of it, too. And it, it's pretty interesting. It, it definitely is. So, I'm looking forward to them releasing more of that as well specific fight to mind <laughs> yeah i and it's funny too because it's like it it tugs at your heartstrings so much that i can't even say for sure which two they are because it's like there's definitely quite a bit it's a it's a an experience for sure <laughs> yeah exactly i don't know if i could do that either that's another one that i have to remind myself of because you have to remember like all the characters too and stuff like that and be like do I want to do this? <laughs> is this what we're doing today? Feeling sad? <laughs> is that how my day is gonna go? And you just like boot up the game and you're like, yep, that's the way it's gonna go. Like, you have to be with that mindset when, when doing that route.
that might be too why the game's set up that way as well to kind of like you know if you go in like a traditional game and you just kind of do whatever then you kind of get it out of the way first and then going through it a second time you're like wow this is all the stuff i missed because i i just supposedly quote unquote messed up uh or messed up excuse me so it's it's yeah it's definitely something i do love the dog too it's the dog's so memeable the dog's great um i'm not seeing where i'm supposed to go here maybe it's with the wall jump i can't even wall jump this way music a bang uh music's a banger for some of the fights yeah like megalovania's like the one that everybody knows about because of how good it is uh okay i need to get a key but i can't go to the top until i figure out a way out of here see this way actually what where did this take me okay i can't open that The worst part is too, like if I were to ever stream and be like, yeah, I want to stream um, Undertale and be like, oh yeah, you know, like let's do a route that I haven't done yet. That would be like the go-to one. And I'm like, I can't, <laughs> I can't do that on stream. It would be so cruel. There's another song you like in the, the middle, but um, there is another song you like more in that route, but it's in the middle. Is it, um, gosh, I'm trying to remember the name of the song. I guess spoiler alert again, just in case anybody like chimes in later on in the video. Is it the one for like, um, Undyne? Cause that one's pretty good too. That's like one of the other ones that I think of that sounds really good too, like the piano. Yeah, okay. Okay, cool. Yeah, that one's that one's pretty good. Uh in the black vault far above, the root sacrifice holiness last eternal. Okay, I don't know how to get up there. Let's see, let me check my items again. I'm I must be missing something. Okay, um Cyclone slash Okay, focus, vengeful spirit. Hmm. Gosh, I'm. Oh, there's something here. Oh, there is something here. Huh. Okay, I need to figure out a way back up there then. Okay, that's good to see that. I forgot I also can do this now. Oh, I can run around with that. That's good to know. Sweet. Okay. Okay, this sign's pointing me towards something. But I can't get through there. This was nothing. got in here finally after all this time and now I have to figure out a way out. Okay. Um. Maybe when like Delta Rune, because I haven't played, I haven't played it because for me it's hard for me to play games in like parts. So like when they're not complete yet, um, I tend to be like, gosh, I kind of want to wait for it to be completely done so then I can just kind of like you know, binge it <laughs> the whole entire way through. So maybe when maybe when Delta Rune's completely, completely done, I wouldn't mind starting like that from the from the first one. Because that's actually part of the reason why I didn't play through all the way is because I think I got like ten minutes in, and I was like, you know what? 
kind of know how this goes. I won't, I won't give any spoilers, but I kind of know how this goes so far, and I don't know if I'm okay with waiting. <laughs> so I just kind of stop there. But again, it's like that's the sign of a good game. Is like when you you're done with it, you're immediately just like, uh, more please. Like, <laughs> it's, it's so hard. That's true, yeah, because then you do have to worry about spoilers if you don't play it when it comes out. Yeah, that's, that's very true. Yeah, spoilers are like the bane of my existence because I swear, like, <laughs> they're everywhere. <laughs> Just looking around to see if I see anything. Gosh, I really don't really don't see anything. Let me let me talk to this guy again. Hmm, you return. Piece of pale ore. I don't have pale ore. Oops. <laughs> that wasn't retaliation. That was me misclicking. <laughs> you get spoiled on things, mostly your fault, so you gotta watch your play something to get out of your mind. Yeah, but, like, the tough part is, like, if you can't get out of your mind. Or, like, the more you focus on it, the more it, like, gets stuck in your head. And, like, like I, I, I would love it if I could do that where I just, like, forget it. But unless I give it a lot of time and very little thought, I'm not going to forget it. And depending on the spoiler, too, depending on how crucial it is, too. Like, if the game constantly hints at it makes it all the more worse. Okay, what am I missing here? <laughs> I'm so... Oh, you, like, uh... Oh, okay. I see now, so... Oh, so, so oh, sorry. I mean, me going to do the thing I was avoiding. So, like, when you say that, you mean, like, you go to the place that was spoiled for you, so, it, like, it's no longer on the back of your mind as much, or... I think I... S I think I just saw something. Wait, did I go through these areas? Oh wait wait okay okay I remember now okay Sorry about the uh about the game not the not the uh the spoiler thing cuz I just like realized I was going to come up here and I completely forgot to do that and now I see so that that's what I was mostly referring to Whew. Okay sweet 3 hits that's very very cool This one always looks so sad, just being there. Alright. Later. <laughs> he just, like, he just made a leap. He's like, now for my surprise attack, and then just, like, killed himself. Oh man, that's not cool. I couldn't move. That was so lame. You jerk. Oh man, I feel so cheated. I guess to say, if you catch a few uh, Delta Rune spoilers, you tend to pick up, or tend to either look up everything about it or go play a game, uh, even if it's incomplete. Oh, okay, okay, I gotcha. Yeah, so it doesn't like ruin the whole entire experience at least. That's a fair point, yeah. I will say that, like, yeah, usually for me personally, I don't find too much like as a oh man this game changer I don't want to play this game at all but it does oh gosh dang it <laughs> it dropped frames and I hit jump and it didn't register oh man well whatever it's fine at least I know where to go so it shouldn't be too hard to get back up very convenient timing for it to drop frames but it's fine um but I'm, 
I don't really recall a game where I've been like, okay, I don't want to play this game at all, because now I know the spoiler, but I can think of a couple of instances where the game does hint at stuff. And knowing said spoiler would make it a very, very, very much different tone if he knew it beforehand. And that's a shame too, because like, there's some stories that really do a good job of that and like give you subtle hints. So like once you play it back, it has a totally different feel to it. Oof. This is a chunky bug. There are some games I can think of that do that. And so thank you of like knowing what you're getting into beforehand be a real shame because it's like no this is totally meant to be delivered another way okay so going down does this open yes okay cool uh okay a shop a relic seeker lem oh are you the one that i can trade this stuff to aye aye come searching for rare items have you well hands off this collection is mine, and I won't be selling it to grubby little wanderers. Still, I imagine you come across many interesting items in your travels. Maybe you'd care to part with some. I'll offer a fair trade for each. Velmi Arkut. Just call my hand the grubby man. Okay, so he'll pay this much for it. Okay, I'll pay a modest price for them. I think that's what he's saying. And then a wanderer's journal. Oh no, this is all he's paying. Okay. Uh, well, I can sell these. Jeez, 450? Can I get the lantern now? Uh, yeah, let's. I'm not gonna sell you all of them, but. Borison? Colonist yeah. seal, eh? Very interesting, this. Do you know the kingdom's five great knights? The revered figures of Holonest, often mentioned in the annal, uh, annals of the kingdom but only as a group. Both their names and appearance seem to have been expunged from history. So long as uh, so long has passed since their time, it'd be a grand achievement for you to discover, or excuse me, achievement to discover their identities. <laughs> you realize, dude, you realize you're living in a city falling apart and you're more worried about your collection at the same time, realistic? <laughs> yeah, cling on to what you got, you know? Velmi Arkut. Okay, let's, um, gosh, I want to sell him more, but then I have the fear that I'll die and then not get my, my money back. But I don't want to have to travel back here, but uh, I still don't have the map. I'll, I'll hold off. I want to sell him one. That's not too, too big of a deal. So I can always come back. It's, it's not too big a deal. Uh, okay, let's go up. Oh, oh, whoa. Oof. Okay, cool. Let's heal. Yeah, I like it when games have those, like, little, like, shops and stuff like that with a grumpy owner. He's just like, what do you want? Don't bother me. Ooh. <laughs> what do you have there? Okay. <laughs> like, I'll take this company. It's kind of funny how, like, their attitude completely changes. Are you here a caterpillar? Whoa, I did not know he could throw that. That was good to know. I think I hear a caterpillar. Where are you, little caterpillar friend? Probably to the right. Still here. Maybe it's not a caterpillar. No, my money! <laughs> it landed in the other room. Dang it. All that worked for not. Oh, it's the bats. Okay. Well, that kind of sucks to get confirmation that way, but it's okay. Oh. I did 
not mean to hit that switch, but... I think I needed to anyways. I don't see another way to go. Uh, okay, to the right. Down, down, down. Oops. Let me go back up there. I want to see if there's something I missed. Oops. <laughs> I didn't know it was going to automatically throw me to the left. Okay, I think it's just down here. Uh, is the only route. Okay, so... Uh, oh, two doors. Did I not hit this? Oh, I didn't hit this. Okay. So I need to be careful with the bat. Um... Two doors now open. Let's call the elevator. Oh, whoops. <laughs> you know, that's that's a fair death. I'll take it. <laughs> you shouldn't be last minute decision. Oh, geez. Oh my gosh. Uh, it shouldn't last minute decision. Decide to get off the elevator as it's like passing by. It's a quick way to lose a limb. Uh, rancid egg. Okay. If I had known I could have just bought it, maybe I wouldn't have paid 60 gold for it, but that's not too bad. Not too bad. In here, do I go down if I hit this? I do. Okay. Well, <laughs> whoops. Let's call us up one more. No, 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 no. I go down. <laughs> I was like, dang it. I messed it up. I had it right the first time. Okay, this is where I started, right? Yeah, this looks like where I started, because... Yeah, okay. okay. So let's go down. Um... But then that will take me just... Wait, where actually... Where am I actually? No, I entered through here. Okay, wait. I'm kind of getting a little lost now. I'm like, gosh, I really need a map. Went down here, right? Okay, yes, this feels familiar. Okay, so now... Let's go up. Let's go up here. Okay. I think this is where I need to go because I don't recall actually choosing this spot to uh, explore. Oh, this takes me to a bench. Okay, actually, let's go that way. I think it's a pretty important die save. Every time I hear him attack me, it sounds like he's saying Grubba. Be free, little caterpillar. Oh, sweet. There's a piece of paper here. Oh, gosh. That's not sweet. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, jeez. Okay, cool. Oh gosh. Oh, this is not good. Okay, cool. Oh gosh. 
Okay, sweet. Let's heal. Okay, whew. <laughs> that was not cool. That was not cool. I almost panicked really bad and almost messed it up. Whew. You hear, you hear Brava? Uh, okay, that makes a lot more sense. I don't think they're actually saying Grava, but <laughs> for some reason, that's, that's what my, uh, my brain was hearing. That was such a troll right before bench. Oh, it absolutely is. I was literally just about to say that. I was literally about to be like, wow, I'm like <laughs> right here. Let's buy this map. Uh, isn't this a change from those twisting natural caverns? The rain does cast something of a sadness upon it all, but the architecture is simply splendid. Turning such a different place, uh, excuse me, turning such a different space is quite the challenge, the one I've eagerly undertaken. Perhaps you'd care to purchase a copy of my achievements so far. Uh, yep. Okay. Let's see. I need to find a bench, though, to really jot down everything, because he doesn't have everything. Uh, inspect. Toll machine with a symbol of a bench. <laughs> I have to pay for this one? That's not cool. <laughs> I like the way it comes out. Wait, did it save? Okay, it did. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Um, oh, I guess it did jot down quite a bit. Uh, okay, and there's the stag, stag thing up top. Okay, let's go over there. Oh, hey, it's this guy. Oi, watch where you're going, you soggy uh, vagabond. I don't want you splashing me. I've had a miserable time trying to keep dry. <laughs> I did forget. I was just thinking that too as I talked to him. I'm like, wait, I need to go back and talk to the map, dude. <laughs> I only talked to him once. I was out the mighty, a knight of great renown. If I decide that I'm going to stay dry, then that's what I'm going. Uh, that's what's going to happen. Curse this wretched city. Water, monsters constantly fall from above. It's no wonder this blasted kingdom fell to ruin. <laughs> Have you seen them? The guards who still patrol the city, even after dying? <laughs> Being overly devoted to one's duties is no virtue. Okay, so he's saying the same thing one more time. Yeah, same thing. Okay. okay let's go back. <laughs> it's a city, what do I expect? <laughs> How about paying for the benches? I don't know, I've never been somewhere where I have to pay to sit. Using the restroom is a different story, and even that kind of sucks. But not, not to say. Oh, by the way, I haven't introduced myself, have I? Yes, I should apologize for that. When you spend a lot of time by yourself with just your own thoughts, you forget the uh, niceties of conversation. My name is Cornifer, and I've always loved exploring the world. Why, when I was first hatched, I wandered off immediately, leaving my brothers and sisters and poor mother behind. Uh oh. <laughs> That's why as soon as I could, I moved to Dirtmouth with my wife. A huge, unending kingdom to explore right on our doorstep? Who could resist? Anyway, I'll let you return to your travels. With a little luck, we'll meet again. Be safe and farewell. <laughs> I literally only bought Matt from him, so I never got his name. I was supposed to get this dialogue the first time I found him. <laughs> Whoops. I could have gone the whole game without even knowing his name. It's like, gosh, when is he going to ask me for my name? <laughs> Whoopsie. <laughs> we've, both come to, uh, we've both come far to reach this grand place. Well, I'm about these buildings. I must remember to collect a trinket or two for Iselda. Okay, same thing. <laughs> Whoopsie. <laughs> That is, that is my bad entirely. <laughs> to be fair, it could have been a lot worse too, because I could have gone the whole entire series without her realizing it. And then people would have been like, no, go back. <laughs> so, thankfully it's, uh, thankfully it's something caught on somewhat. Um, maybe not on time, but before it's too late. I just have like a hall in night stream where I just go and talk to everybody multiple times and that's it. After I've beaten it. Okay, this path is now open. 
Um. Okay, cool. And then this takes me, I'm assuming, back to that that door that closed on me. But how did that hit? What? What did I do there? Did he hit the spikes and die? I didn't even know they could do that. I thought I hit him once and he was dead. It was the spikes? Okay. That's really good to know. Yeah. Oh, that's right, because you can hit them into, like, the Mountain Dew anyway, so... Why not the spikes? Oh man, that, that really caught me off guard. I was just like, <laughs> we're having a grand old time. Fighting each other to the death. I don't think that actually dodged, but it looked kind of funny that I just ducked my head. <laughs> and like the spear missed. Whoa, okay, that's not cool to walk into. Okay, what is this? Simple key. Oh, sweet, I don't have to go buy one now. Uh, actually, I probably could just continue to the next part then, because that's the only reason I was going up top. Maybe I should go back to the town, just in case, but... Anything over here? Anything over here? Uh-oh. Okay. Oh, am I safe here? Oh, okay, those aren't spikes that I can land on. Um, yeah, I should go up top, because that's where the, the stag beat was. And then I can fast travel here. Destroy everything. Okay, let's go and continue to this side. Is this wanderer's journal uh is that something i can trade in right yeah okay it is and 599 geo nice what is I mean, you know what let me go to the bench first before i start going down and rob a whole new areas that's up top Okay. <laughs> Dig it. I was hoping I could duck under that. Get down here. No, that's where I came from. Okay. And that's just... Yeah, spiky roof. Okay. Whoever built this city really likes spikes. Maybe a little too much. Uh, okay, cool. So now that's filled in. So I pretty much got through all the parts that he had jotted down, except for that little room to the right. Inspect. Uh, yep. All the money I was saving up for the lantern. It's going away very, very, very quickly. Okay. Um, yeah, let's go up top and... Oops. Actually, let's see what he has to say. I remember the station well. A common trip it was. Goods from all over the kingdom were transported here. Not a lot was sent back the other way, though. Eager to travel the stagways? Just hop on that platform, give me the signal, and we'll be or we'll soon be on our way. Yeah, okay, same thing. Huh. So a lot of things, resources were brought here, but not not taken out. Okay, let's talk to the old man here. Did you visit that temple? A strange building I've heard, though I'd never dared the journey myself. Braver among us once went there to pray, said they felt at peace within the walls. After a while, they stopped going. I wonder what changed. 
Is that guy back out here? No. Okay. Um. Any new stuff? Ah, <sighs> They don't have anything worth selling. Okay. That is fine. Let's check out the other shop. Uh, okay, just these two things. So, yeah, basically need to save up 1800 still. Do I have anything I can equip? I want to try out. Um, nah, I, th I think I'll keep it as it is. Oops. He's already here. Um, city storms. I think that's where I was at. Rest here. Okay, let's go to the left. Let's see. Let's see what that has to offer. Oh jeez. <laughs> I was just gonna go down. I realized that had spikes on it. One of you enemies eventually is gonna give me a lot of a lot of geo. Eventually, I'm sure there's like a farming enemy. That's really good for getting money. Yo, what is this? A toll machine with a symbol of a lift. Enter Geo. <laughs> it costs money in this game. What is this? Tingle's Ruby Adventure? Or Ruby Adventure, I should say. Um? Huh? I don't even know where this would take me. Oh, okay, cool, cool. I know where this is at. Uh, so let's see. I have another key, and I know I need the key for something down in the city. I don't really need to go to the fungal wastes. There is that place too up top, that symbol. Oh uh, gosh, should I go there? Yeah. yeah, let's go there. Let's go to that symbol. That feels more like story related because I think that appeared after I met up with the uh, the other the character, the one with the red cloak. I can't remember her name. Okay, so yeah. Okay, let's just go back up to the stag beetle. Is that her name, Hornet? Yeah, I can't I cannot remember. It might be. That sounds familiar. Okay, and then to the right. These things still, like, surprisingly die in, like, two hits. Kind of surprised with that. With, like, having a sharper blade. Because I can think of two places I can go to. I can either go to the Mantis fight, or I can go to the place with the key. And then eventually, whenever I get the lantern, I can probably go to a couple more rooms. I feel like there was another room I could have gone into that I forgot to light with the marker, but I won't worry about that. Uh, okay. This room feels familiar. Um. Okay, so I can't do anything here. Not that I see. That's fine. So I'll just go back and use that key. Because I do want to try out the Mantis fight. I just think I maybe should be a little bit better equipped for it. Uh, actually, let's let's stop by the Caterpillar place too, since I'm here.
Oh, dang it. <laughs> I didn't see the other one there. Oops. Yes, thank you. <laughs> no need to pay me, but please continue to do so. Oh man, he just has more and more. Oh, sweet. What if this is a way to like attempt me to like attempt to get me to leave? So he's just throwing stuff at me. So he won't get out. A grub song. What is this? Contains the gratitude of free grubs. Gain soul when taking damage. Um, gosh, that's actually kind of good. Uh. Okay, maybe. Whoops. Maybe not now. Maybe not now, but that. That does sound pretty good. There's like a party in here. <laughs> Just hearing like. Woo, 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 woo. <laughs> You stepped away for a minute. Was there a question? Uh, no. I think I've been pretty okay. But thank you. Yeah, I think I've been peachy keen. I don't recall anything in particular that has me too stumped. I pretty much have, like, two places in mind that I could go to. So it's just a matter of me choosing which one. And I think I'm going to go to the place that I need to put the key in. I still have that key, right? Uh, yes, I do. Okay, cool. So let's go down to the city storerooms. I have to traverse a little bit downwards again to use that key. But maybe it's not too far. Um, is that what that is? Let me see that. Let's see, what is, what is this? Show pins slash keys. Well, that's not the same thing I'm thinking. I think it's just a vendor. I think that's the dude that wants the, the stuff. Um, okay, I know I need to go down to the right. I'm sure I'll pass it, so it shouldn't be too big of a deal. Was this here? All these boxes? To the right. Okay, sweet. Well, I <laughs> didn't expect to fall all the way down, but whoa. Okay, maybe let's just get on out of here. Ah! <laughs> He's following me to the next room. I think I'm okay in that last room. the right let's set the bench here hey he's still here sweet still have some company um okay down and to the right i think is the way to go yeah okay now now thinking on it i probably should have used the stag to go to the bank <laughs> what it's too late for that only time for regrets <laughs> in which case i can go Back to the confessor. Okay, so to the right. You were wondering why I didn't do that? <laughs> Simply because I forgot. And no other reason. Which I'm like, dang it, I really should have. I absolutely should have, but I'm hoping it'll be fine. Plus, I probably. Oh. Oh, geez, that actually slightly locks onto me. Oof. Oh, geez, it went down. Okay. Oh, sweet. Okay. Gosh, that's really strong. Huh. Plus, <laughs> what I was saying beforehand, though, is I, plus I probably should um, sell the... 
the other things that I have. Soul Sanctum? Whoa. It was on the organ in here. <laughs> that was, uh, quite the welcome. <laughs> Is it you? <laughs> Is that your secret job all this time? You're not a map maker, you're an organ player. That person's been practicing their, like, <laughs> their, like, skills on the organ this whole entire time. <laughs> Yeah, you know shit's going down when you hear organs in video games? Yeah, absolutely. You know, like, things are about to get for real. It's never a good sign. Is that you, Ganondorf? <laughs> um... An ornate door made from glistening metal. There's a slot for some kind of key. Okay, so not the key I have. I have the standard simple key. I need a certain kind of key. Okay, here comes the organ. Let's, like, let's do this again. Don't leave this time. <laughs> Same the whole entire the whole entire thing. Oh, that's what it was. Okay. Whoa! <laughs> what are you? What was that thing? Ugh, I don't like that. Okay, to the... No, actually, let's go to the right. Okay, let's go to the left. Oh no, it is another one of these things. Uh. Ugh, there's two of them. Well, sort of. Ah, I can't get around this. Oh, that's not cool. I just dashed over there. <laughs> that was so lame. <laughs> you know what, cheater? Okay, let's go and take those. I just destroyed somebody's manga collection. Um, okay, let's go up top more. That enemy reminds me of something. You find these guys super annoying? Oh, I can easily see that, yeah. They're, uh, a little tedious. Oof, I actually got hit. Ugh. <laughs> no, get over here. Gosh, I'm, like, hurting myself just out of trying to take them out as quick as I can. Yeah, they, they are something else for sure. Especially with like how they teleport as soon as you get close to them. Uh, record uh, record ABBA. Or record ABBA. The mind still limits us so. How to break past its constraints. To attain pure focus is it even possible. Yeah, I wonder that same thing. <laughs> you ever study for finals? I can tell you that's when I question my focus the most. that let's go up okay uh, well that would have been a dumb decision <laughs> I'm glad the window actually stopped me but uh, what is this okay well <laughs> she's like I'll just rest peacefully in this chair whoa Oops. Ugh. Ugh. Jeez, okay. Maybe I should actually take the chance to heal. Um Okay. Did that not go through actually? I don't think it did. Oh, keep doing that other attack. <laughs> it's easier to hit you twice. Oops. Oh, jeez. Okay. Okay, it just stops me from taking damage, but it doesn't heal me. Oh, okay. Uh oh. Okay, cool, cool, cool. It's over. <laughs> okay. 
Sweet. I got... Gosh, did I got like 300 gold from him? Or Geo? Nice. That was a lot. Maybe it was only like 200 or something. Um, where am I? <laughs> I've been in here for a while now. I have no idea. Oh, jeez. Okay, cool. I'll, I'll take that, that trade. Took him out super fast, but I'm at the same, same HP. That's fine. Um... No, I already took out one of you. You don't get to respawn so quickly. Gosh, 1,000 gold. Maybe I actually should have stopped at the bank. Is this the time in the game where I have regrets? Or have to meet the, the confessor? Like, what are your regrets, child? <laughs> I regret not stopping by the bank. Oh, ooh, that's a good one. Well, let's see. How much do you regret it? Like, what was it? Like $20? $30? A thousand? Ooh. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> ah, I can't <laughs> come to the wall jump there for some reason. I feel like I'm supposed to go down, so I'm going up to kind of explore a little bit more. But maybe completely wrong on that. Ugh, okay, that's such a cheap shot. <laughs> I can't do anything here. I can barely avoid that. Oh my gosh, there's two of them. Uh, oh my gosh, this is not cool. This is not cool. Oh no. <laughs> what a terrible place to be in. Okay. Oh man. I'm glad there was not a third one down here because I could have been a very bad call. Oof. Gosh, what am I supposed to do to this? Gosh, they like hover away too. <laughs> this is so dumb. This reminds me of like some enemies in Castlevania for sure. Okay, there's one hit. Okay, cool. One's dead. Oh no, that followed me. <laughs> That's so not cool. That followed me so perfectly. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Oh, I'll take it. Jeez. That was not cool to accidentally engage two of them at the same time. That was a really, really bad spot. <laughs> Whew. Oh man, and with like a thousand geo, no less, where I'm like, oh man, it really sucks to uh, not have stopped at the bank. <laughs> Did somebody say a bad time to die? And then just like engage with me. I'm like, please no. Oh man, they are awful. Oh, these guys suck. Oh, okay. Whew, I was about to do the exact same thing again. <laughs> Stop warping, <laughs> you jerk. Okay, sweet. Now, do I see what you mean? <laughs> oh yeah, absolutely. They're they're a huge pain. Terrible, man. They they do not stop. I think what gets me too is the fact there's like no limit to how quickly or how often they can warp. Like it's just basically when they feel like it, and that makes it very, very, very difficult to like gauge when you should and shouldn't approach. Found a secret room. Give me more soul, you little <laughs> I don't know. They look they look like cheese monsters. They look like something to me. They look like the rejected idea of Slugma from Pokemon. Oh my gosh, there's a lot of these in here. Oh my gosh, the oh gosh, why are there so many of them? Wow. So many. At least now I have full HP.
Okay. So, gosh, where am I going? Okay, what is this? Spell twister. <laughs> Spin your wheel and whatever color it lands on, put your appropriate limb on it. Hand? Red? Put your right hand on red. Oh, gosh, wait, what are you doing in here? I'm making a joke. <laughs> He's like walking here like, hey, man, good one. I'm like, no. <laughs> Uh, okay. Yeah, that's right. Let's, uh, let's go to charms. Okay. Reflecting the desires of the soul sanctum for mastery over soul. It improves the bearer's ability to cast spells. Reduce the soul cost of casting spells. That's... That's pretty good. That's pretty good. I like that one. Now I just have to find other souls that complement it. Because I don't find myself casting spells too much. So maybe there will be a much better much better soul or skill to cast okay if i go left this i may as well because i came from the right so let's keep let's keep pressing onward such a nice peaceful area i like how i can see the ceiling now like with the stalagmites or stalactites I always mix the two up Okay, that didn't give me as much soul as I thought it would. Uh, this is a boss area. <laughs> I haven't sat in a bench in forever. And this would be an awful place to have to backtrack to. Oof. Oof. Okay, you know what? Yeah, I'm just gonna... Well, a door closed behind me. What is that? Oh no, <laughs> I made a bad choice, guys. Soul Master. No, I made a terrible choice. Oh no, 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 this is not good. Oh, oh my gosh, I made a bad choice, guys. I made a bad choice. <laughs> Oh, jeez. I made a very bad choice. Oh my gosh, this... No! <laughs> this sucks. No, a thousand gold, man. A thousand gold, don't do this to me. Oh, jeez, what was I supposed to do to that? Just jump over it? Okay, just jump over, just jump over. I don't even know if I'm strong enough to defeat him. Oh my gosh. Oh, straight into me. I'm just doing like a, a base of strats, just hitting him whenever I can. Hitting him whenever I can. It's gonna be a slow fight. The worst part is that, oh, please tell me you're dead. Please tell me you're dead. No. Okay, okay. Uh, okay, I don't want to get hit twice by that. Whew. Gosh, I haven't hit him forever. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, dang it. Oh, gosh, this is not good. No, no frames dropping, please. <laughs> I can't afford it in this fight. Oh no, I barely... Oh no, <laughs> this sucks. You're just literally forcing yourself to stay awake for that fight. Oh man, that's not cool. I am so far back. I cannot die. I cannot die. Oh man, okay. Okay, let's let's reconsider my souls, and I have to go back to that room. Oh man. Okay, I think I can I think I can do that fight for sure. But let me reconsider what I have. Okay, this is 
all pretty good. I don't care about the compass right now. I'm going to take... Ugh, man. I'm going to sit here. If I save and rest, does that reset the soul spawn? Like, would that automatically save me and lock me out of getting my soul again? Like, if I sit here, will I be able to still retrieve my souls from, uh, from my, <laughs> my spirit that endured that battle? Right, right, but, like, if I sit down, if I sit down, will that reset the, like, the, the fact that I, like, will that lock me out of getting my soul back, is what I mean, if I sit down again? Uh, I feel like I should be equipping that so I can gain some souls back. Because I don't think I need any of this other stuff. No, no worries. I think, I think I'm okay. The game just saved after I died. Okay, I'm going to sit here again so I can equip my, my thing. And so, let's take that off. I don't care about the compass. I just was wondering if I sit down here, if that means then, like, I can't retrieve the soul that I dropped. That, that's mainly what I was wondering. I don't know if that makes, if that makes sense, because I'm like, it might not even be a thing, and I might just be over overcomplicating it in my, in my mind. Like, oh, you know, like, this locks you out of it, but I will, I will find out. Uh, okay, I'm already lost. <laughs> Let's see, I just got the bench. I'm going down, and I go down to the right. Okay. Uh, or just to the right, I should say. Okay, so it's only when I die. Only when I die. Okay, that that's mainly what I was, I was worried about, is like, if there's another way that locks me out of it. Like, oh, you sat on a bench? That means you saved, and therefore, you don't have access to it anymore. That's mostly what I was concerned about. That's such a brutal boss to have to deal with unexpectedly. Okay, I just need to be careful. Oop, oops, okay, almost, almost fell down there. So I'm here, let's go right. Okay, I never opened up that pathway. I don't even recall seeing the thing on how to get there. <laughs> no, get out of here. Are we gonna deal with more stupid spirit orbs? I don't need you to make this more complicated. Gosh, they really warp way too much. Way too much. Okay, let's heal. As long as I get my, my Geo back, it's not too bad. <laughs> I don't think this counts as a spoiler, uh, but maybe just as a comparison of this boss fight for two future ones without specifics. Uh, like, were you going to mention something? Is that what you're asking? Or were you mentioning like something that I said? Sorry, that, that, that spirit guy really, uh, <laughs> really, really distracted me. Oh my gosh, <laughs> so many warpies. <laughs> Too much. Oh, maybe, okay, so maybe like there'll be more people going forward that like represent the boss I'm about to fight. Huh, that is, that is something I will, I will pay attention to from now on. Yeah, because I don't think it's so much of a spoiler so much as it is like, like it, it's an observation that I picked up on my own just now. Maybe a little late, but... Oh, you were going to say something else. Oh, okay. Okay, my bad. Oh, about how this boss compared to others in, uh, in terms of difficulty? I, I can see there being a lot more difficult ones. And in my opinion, like just guessing... Uh, not that this is what you were going to say, but I can imagine there being much more difficult ones. I feel like so far, this is probably like on the lower to mid spectrum of it, if I had to take a guess. Because honestly speaking, I'm expecting this game to be very difficult as it goes on further. And so far, I can see that boss being very doable. 
for as much as I panicked, I was just like, oh, geez, like, I have too much gold. That was a huge factor in, like, me messing up a lot of stuff and, like, messing up the timing and spacing. So, <laughs> I think it's pretty subjective. I think, I think that one's not terrible mentioning that. I think, I think that'd be fine. Because it's not necessarily telling me, like, what the other bosses are. Get, no, no, no. <laughs> I'm not dealing with you. Let me get out of this narrow hallway, because... Okay, sweet. I know what happens if I fall down. I'm going to be in the exact same position. Okay. I went down there last time, so I don't need to do that again. Come to me, my child. Come over here. Make this difficult. Whew. Now I have to make the very, very, very difficult decision of going back and fighting him or going back and going to deposit the thing. But gosh, the stag is so far away, though. Okay. I think, I think I'm going to try and fight him. It wasn't too bad coming up again this time because I had the pathways open. So I think I should be okay in the event that we're to die again. Oh, it was more of a matter of where you were in this, at this point when you fought this bot, uh, boss that made it difficult. Yeah, because I guess there are certain abilities and certain like charms you want to have at this point too to make it easier, right? But you're saying this was one of the harder bosses for you? <laughs> yeah, I mean, I will say, I, I think it's definitely within the realm of possibility for me to do it. But I can see it being on the more difficult side, too. Because just the presentation of it was just like, oh, man, you were about to get killed. Oh, he doesn't even have to... No, give me the cool intro. I wanted the cool intro. <laughs> Whoa, oh, that wasn't fair. I almost got hit by that. <laughs> what a curveball, man. Oh, dang it. I have to pause, too. My nose is itching. Ah, oh, terrible timing. Yeah, I think... I don't know. I might, I might have a little bit of a trial and error kind of thing. Gosh, why is my nose itching? <laughs> this is terrible. <laughs> Stop, nose. Do you not see how difficult of a battle this is. I wonder how he's rewarping. I mean, it's actually kind of helping me because I feel like I would get hit otherwise. But... Okay, I missed that hit. Well, whatever. I, I won't force it. I should probably be hitting him when he does that. There's a stronger attack I can do when he's like right there. Oh jeez, wrong choice, wrong choice. Oh dang it, too high. Okay. Uh, I can heal right here. Ooh, he's trying to He's trying to trip me up, that's what he's doing. <laughs> Epic nose itch. <laughs> yeah, that's what it feels like. You know how anticlimactic it is to hear this, like, really epic boss music with an organ and then just, like, my nose itches? <laughs> like, ha! <laughs> like, I'm, like, blowing my nose in the background. <laughs> okay, can I do this? Okay, I don't remember the, the skill for it. Oh, 
Oh dang it, almost went for three. Oh jeez, that frame drops. <laughs> that was a really bad time for that. Oh man, that sucked. Let me heal. Oh, I healed too long. I healed too long. I missed my chance. That could have been it too. Three is the magic number with bosses. supposed to hit you. No, I know. He's, he's probably dead. Dude, that scream is me when they announce Xenoblade 3. That exact scream is going to be me. Whew. Okay, I thought there were spikes down there. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, wait. The fight's still continuing. Jeez. Jeez. Uh, <laughs> this guy sucks. This isn't cool. Whew. Okay, this is a lot easier than the last one. I can see it as long as you kind of know the timing for it. It's not terrible. Okay, sweet. <laughs> I'll die this time for real. I saw the Monsterpedia thing. Okay, sweet. I see the achievement. That should be okay. Whew. What a curveball through me, because I got this thing too, and it still continued the fight. I like that though. I do like that. <laughs> oh, that's terrible. So you died at that part because you got caught off guard and you almost had no HP. <laughs> yeah, that was a really good like curveball that I threw. Even for me, I got hit. And I feel like I reacted somewhat okay to it. I just didn't react fast enough. Because I wasn't expecting that. That's that's really unfortunate. <laughs> Oh, man. That was a good boss fight, though. That really was. Consume the desolate dive. Tap circle while holding down to strike the earth with a burst of power. Uh, spells will deplete soul. So, okay. Tap while holding down. Oh, I was supposed to tap while holding up for the Elmon. Okay. Thanks. Thanks. That was, uh, that was quite, quite the boss fight, for sure. Whew, I can't even go back up there. I gotta go this way. And now I don't have my compass to help me get back. Where am I even at at this point? Uh, huh. Actually, where am I at? Like, okay, this is gonna be kind of a spoiler alert for anybody who doesn't know about the castle in any games and wants to play it. Oh, wait, would that break? So definitely, this isn't like a huge, huge one plot related. But if you're into like boss fights and like just kind of figuring them out, you know, as as you go, this is going to be kind of a big one. So basically, there's a boss that's in like every Castlevania game. And it's, uh, well, maybe not every single one. In a lot of them, though. It might be every single one. But it is, is in a lot of them. At least the ones I played. And it's death. And... <laughs> What's dumb is that I don't know if it's in every single one. I can't remember for sure, but certainly in a lot of them. When you're done fighting death, what will happen is that it's, it's always like really hard to kill. Death is always very hard to kill. When you when you finally beat death, as a last chuck effort, death will throw the scythe and it'll just like spin around the room and it can still hit you. And it's very, very, very easy to be on incredibly low HP against them. So you can beat him, and then he'll just like throw the scythe and you just die, and then you have to restart the fight. 
<laughs> it's like not it's not a move that's easy to uh, dodge if you're not expecting it so that's a little fun fact for anybody <laughs> okay i think i'm supposed to do this yeah okay it just it took me a sec to realize that but cool now i know i can go through other other places um, so yeah, just a little fun fact, if, if you didn't know that. It's it's very unfortunate. I don't think it's happened to me. It might have. I honestly speaking can't remember, because the one game I definitely remember playing with him in it I, is like Ario Sorrow, and it, that might have happened to me in that game, but yeah, it's, it's very, very unfortunate to get that far against any boss. And you're like, yeah, I did it. And then you continue on and you're just like, psych. And you just die. <laughs> like, whoop. Oh, that's kind of cool. That was kind of a cool uh, fall down there. Oh, geez. I didn't see that one. That was my bad. I'm, I'm looking at chat. Okay. Uh, hole in a seal. Okay. Hey, and the best part about it is I didn't lose all my money. Jeez, that was a bad one. Okay, can I use this now? Nice. No, Caterpillar friend. <laughs> I'll come back for you. Just hold on real quick. Oh, jeez. Oh my gosh, I'm in a room full of corpses. I just realized that. This is gross. Decaying bugs. Does this room have a name? Am I going to fight Legion in here? <laughs> now that I'm talking about Castlevania? Uh, what is... What is this? I can't wall jump on... Well, I guess I can't wall jump on a body of... <laughs> like a pile of corpses. Oh, jeez. That was not cool. That's specifically when I pulled out my map. That was not a cool time to, to do that. Okay, I have no idea where I'm at. This is completely uncharted. And... I'm basically finding my way back. But I, I think I can at least get the caterpillar. Oh, oh, oops, okay. And this takes me back up here. Ah! Okay, I don't think I've gone that way. So let's get the caterpillar front and then go there. Or right, actually that may have been where I came from. I'm all sorts of confused. Uh, okay, caterpillar friend first, though. Be free, my child. Okay. Uh, no, this is where I came from. That's right. I came from up there. Okay, cool, cool. So let's go down back to the right. Oh, back to the right. Oh, I need a heal. I'm down two hits. Oh, that's a little dead guy up there. It stands out amongst the rest of the pile of <laughs> dead beings. But that one's sadder because he's smaller or bigger. Whoa, what was that? That was not cool. Okay, let's go ahead and go way up. I wonder if there's a perk to destroying these things, because I address destroying a lot of them. Is there like a collateral damage like achievement in Steam? <laughs> okay, that one looks pretty solid. I'll let me try one more time. Oh, okay. Gosh, this place is huge. Uh, I'm just looking for a place to sit, man. Oh, this feels familiar. Wait, hold up. I know where I'm at. Oh, 
I recognize these annoying enemies anywhere. I'm not worried about you guys. I defeated the Soul Master. Except for if I have, like, low HP, then I am actually worried about you guys. Uh, okay, so I can go down this way, then. Yeah, I just need to make my way down. This is... Yeah, uh, okay. Yeah, and this is the room where I fought, too, at one point. Uh, oh, it's right here. Um, Okay. Let's not plop down. I never figured out how to get there. So, do I even have the ability to get there? I, I think I do. I, I feel like I should kind of do that before I leave this area. Otherwise, I will forget. Where are you? <laughs> Where are you, stupid little teleporting guy? Uh, okay, maybe I need to go up top and then to the right. Uh, in which case, I probably shouldn't have gone this way. <laughs> that would be you just dying in a chair at times, <laughs> sitting on your ass. <laughs> yeah, to to make it like just super relatable, it'd be like infomercials in the background too. <laughs> oh man, tough times, man. Tough times. I've had that like period of time where I'm just like watching like infomercials. And I'm like, man, this is not. A high point of my life when there's like nothing entertaining to do. And like, unfortunately, that's like, it even sounds like somewhat recently. I'm like, no, that happened as a teenager. Like, you live in a place where there's not much to do, it gets really boring really quick, easily. Some infomercials are pretty funny. <laughs> That's true. Some of them are like funny because like how like they're presented, and some of them are funny because just like, huh, that doesn't work. I would never buy that. Like that kind of stuff. Yeah. Okay, let's call the elevator down. Let's go all the way back down. Have I ever seen the golf club you can pee into? I have. I have seen that infomercial. Yeah, it's really wild. Honestly speaking, all jokes aside in terms of like, oh, like, why would you pee in that? I feel like that affects the... Wait, where am I? I don't think I'm going the right way. Uh... No, yeah, that's where I came from. I came from down here. I feel like that affects the way that playing golf is meant to be played like don't you have to be kind of in tune with the weight of a golf club like wouldn't that affect your ability to play the game <laughs> so i've heard of that now i've never used that i don't play golf and if i did play golf i don't think i'd be interested in that product so i may be wrong on that and never get confirmation but that's just one of the things that comes to my mind Sorry I missed you. If you're feeling lost, why not pop up to our store in Dirtmouth and purchase a map of this area. Available now for an next open price. Cornifer. Okay. I did get to save. Oh, wait. Let me change the, the thing now. Okay, let's rest. And let's go ahead and swap that back out because I kind of need this compass. It's a lot harder to traverse through the game than I thought. <laughs> you guess you can understand the appeal, but... Oh, commercial makes it seem like you can do this without anyone noticing. <laughs> yeah, I think I gotta be me with that too. You have to be of um, a certain ability to uh, urinate in that fashion to be able to fully utilize it. Oh man, yeah, that's, there's like other infomercials that are coming to my mind too, like, <laughs> there's like, there's so many that are like coming to my mind, not, not to get like, I'm not going to get political in this, so I'm not trying to get political in this, but there's like, of the last president, there is like a, <laughs> dork, um, not the bug specifically, that's what I was referring to, there is like a teddy bear line for the, 
the last president, and I was like really surprised by that. The president of the United States, I should specify, because I'm in the U.S. for for anybody who's uh watching or uh, watches the YouTube out of the United States. Uh, yeah, yeah, exactly. Woof! I almost landed on that. Yeah, exactly. There was a teddy bear line of that, and I was like really surprised by that because I'm like I don't recall. I could be wrong on this. I know like there's been plenty of presidential memorabilia over the years. Have I been in here? I think I have. <laughs> or like Chia. Oh yeah, there is a Chia too. Yeah, that's right. I completely forgot about that. But yeah, I um I know there's like plenty of presidential memorabilia and stuff like that. But that one really stood out to me because I was like, I don't think I've ever heard of that. Like of a teddy bear line. So really, really surprising. Surprising stuff. And yet somehow not surprising at all. Okay, let's see. Uh, okay, almost there. give them to your kids isn't the whole entire thing with like chia pets too is that they had to like incorporate the seed into like food and stuff because they had so many that they just didn't know what to do with them because chia pets didn't do that well am i imagining that or is that actually a thing or is that like a rumor <laughs> like i i definitely remember hearing that the chia seeds yeah wasn't that a thing Well, <laughs> you're talking about the teddy bears. <laughs> Why not also give your children chia seeds? Supposedly they're good for them and other questionable nutritional information that I have not confirmed or denied. Uh, let's see. Oh, yeah, I can buy the lantern. What am I doing standing here? I'm like, where should I go next? <laughs> I know exactly where I should go next. Chia seeds existed before chia pets. Chia pets just made them more popular. Right, but like, didn't. Didn't the, um, didn't they start, like, incorporating them more into, like, other products? Maybe not specifically, like, food, but, like, other products in general because they had, like, so many on hand or, like, in production. I don't, I don't know. That, that could just be a rumor, but I, uh, I feel like, I feel like I remember hearing that. There's Mama Chia drinks? I've never heard of those. I've heard of chai drinks. I do like vanilla chai. Ch vanilla chai is really good. Um. Okay, let's go and buy this. I was thinking, like, shy wait? I'm like, no, no, no. I, I really do want to get this lantern. The Luma Fly lantern. There goes all my money. Okay, so I'm assuming it's auto-equipped, right? Like a passive thing. Um... Yeah, it looks like it. Okay. Okay, cool. Let's go and rest here. Save. Yeah, I've never heard of uh, Mama Chia drinks. That I haven't heard of. They come in single bottles. It's kind of fruity, but is full of chia seeds. It's a little slimy, so definitely not for everyone. I personally don't mind like slimy stuff, like drinks. Because um, I'm coming, like, f knowing full well that, like, fruit and smoothies and stuff like that contains pulp and stuff like that naturally. So I am, I think I'd be okay with it. I like aloe vera, like aloe drinks. I really like those too. And those are pretty slimy. So I, I think I'd be, I think I'd be okay with it. <laughs> I love pulp. I, I really do like pulp and drinks. It kind of makes it feel like a little more healthy to me too. And I don't know, it's more natural. Um, not that no pulp isn't natural, but to me, it's just like, it feels like more, I guess my brain registers that it was more like fresh and close to the original as possible. So yeah, aloe vera is, aloe vera is really good. I really like the way it tastes. And I like chewing on the little aloe vera pulp things, whatever they're called. Um, but okay. So I was going to go ahead and like stop stream here. Cause I feel like this is a good point to leave off on next stream. I will probably, um, let's see. Where did I leave that marker at? I'm going to go to that place, the room that's dark. 
And I still have that key that I never used because I somehow found another path to go to instead towards the soul sanctum. So I still got to use that key somewhere. I think so. I think I still have it in my inventory. Yeah, yeah, I do. So those are two places I'm going to go to, um, as well as I will probably try to fight the Mantis Nest, depending on uh, where I stand with it, because I might not be able to do it yet. Maybe I need to find the Pale Orb to upgrade my weapon even further. So I got to see where the game leads me. But yeah, I'll be streaming again on Monday, uh, starting about six o'clock Pacific Standard Time. And so I'll post that on social media and on Discord too when, when I'll be streaming. And giving a heads up beforehand. Uh, I'll also update the about me later on this weekend, if not earlier Monday, so that will reflect the schedule for the week. And then Paper Mario should be. I'm pretty sure I can beat it. I might, I might start a little bit earlier. Um, just kind of recap and see how close I am to the end. But yeah, I think I should be able to beat it Monday. So I gotta figure out what I got lined up for for the other game. So um, yeah, with that, I'm gonna go and hop off for a night. I hope you all have a good night, and I appreciate all you being here. So. Definitely, you know, don't stay up too late and I'll see you Monday. Unless it's your morning, then in which case, then uh, <laughs> good morning and don't go to bed late <laughs> when it comes to nighttime. <laughs> okay, see ya.